You're about to watch a mostly unedited phone call with scammers that was originally streamed live. It may have taken place over multiple days or weeks, and some of the context might not make complete sense, but I know those of you who watch my main channel often want to see how the whole story unfolded. Sometimes it's hard to take a 5, 10, even 40 hour scam call and turn it into one hour. I hope you enjoy today's video. Many of you have emailed me about how scammers targeted your family using their specific name, social security numbers, address, and personally identifiable information. And for a lot of us, that exact information is available everywhere online due to data breaches or just plain negligence. According to the FTC, every six seconds, there's a victim of identity theft. I recently partnered with Aura, who has a whole suite of tools surrounding identity theft. And when I first signed up, I was honestly surprised how much of my information was already out there. I tend to be pretty private and thought that a lot of this was already taken care of. Aura monitors your credit reports and financial transactions to see if there's anything sketchy going on and alert you right away. And when you sign up, they'll look all over the internet and even the dark web for traces of your identity and show you where it is. They'll even actively try to remove it too. Don't wait until you apply for a mortgage or get a call from some scammer to find out that your information has been leaked or stolen. Sign up at aura.com slash Boga and they'll give you an exclusive 21 day trial. See what information's out there, check out your credit report, and see what else they have to offer. Hello? 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 Well, hi, ma'am. This is Brandon. I just m missed a call from this number. You could not hear me. How may I help you? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, hello. Can you hear me? Um, Are, are you with the Microsoft? I'm calling about. That's correct, ma'am. A problem with that my is correct. You're talking oh, hold to on. I'm getting another call. Representative. Hold, on. hold on just one second. Are you with Microsoft Windows Defender? Yes, this is uh, Helpline. We provide support for Microsoft products. How can I help you, ma'am? Oh, I have somebody else helping me already, so never mind. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So. I, I, I was on the you know the internet and I, mm -hmm. I, I there was a message on the screen and it's telling me that access to my computer was blocked and okay I and for the life of me I can't figure out why because now I'm pretty sure I already paid my bill for the internet. I'm I'm ninety five percent sure because I always pay the bill the day I get it. I don't wait until the very end. But it says my computer is blocked, and I don't know why. And uh, would you mind reading out the exact notification you have on your computer, please? It it says app. Ads Finance Track dot D L L Threat Detected Trojan Spywire Access to this PC has been blocked for security reasons and then to contact Windows. And if I click deny it doesn't do anything. Okay. Uh, what exactly was the last activity you were trying to do on the computer, Mom, when you got this alert today? Oh, n nothing of consequence. I was on my bank account trying to reconcile my my checkbook. Mm -hmm. Okay. The well, same thing the I do why every you've been night. Getting this message, try to the take reason over why the been, world. You've been getting this. Okay, the reason why you've been getting this alert on your computer screen is just because it seems to me that you have been receiving a Microsoft Security Defender alert on your computer. Okay. There could be a possibility that while surfing over the internet, knowingly or unknowingly, you might have done something wrong. Or accidentally, you might have downloaded some sort of viruses or infections from the internet. Killed. And that is one reason, just for your own security and for your own privacy, 
The computer has locked you out so that nothing goes wrong with your personal or your confidential information. Okay? I'll wow. quickly um, walk you through some troubleshooting steps in order to go ahead and rectify are, that what exactly saying, went wrong. Are, are you saying that I shouldn't browse Reddit looking for... My grandson no. showed me that um, webpage. I did, I, I did not... I Sometimes did not mean the ladies that. in my what, book what I'm club trying... like the dank memes. Mom, I did not mean that. I meant to be... Oh. I meant to say that... Okay, I meant to say that your computer might have been infected with a virus or an infection. Okay, so I'm going to be walking you through some troubleshooting steps in order to check what exactly happened and definitely would be ending this call with a complete resolution for you today. Okay? Oh, thank, thank goodness. Thank so goodness. what kind of a computer do you have? Is that a desktop computer or a laptop? It's, yeah, it's just a regular old one of the mail computer. I, it's nothing too fancy. Just one that lets me log on to my bank and check how many zeros are in there. Nothing fancy. Okay. And, all right. And apart from that, what's, uh, which Windows is it? Is it running on Windows 7, 8, 10, 11? Any idea? I don't. I don't know exactly. I think that my grandson helped me download more RAM. Okay, and what's the make of uh, the computer? Is it Hewlett Packard, Dell, Toshiba, Acer, Apple? Can you name Which some one of is the it? other options? Okay, is it Hewlett Packard? That's HP, Dell, Toshiba, Acer, Gateway, Samsung. Which one is it? Are there any other ones? I think it's Adele. Apple? I'm pretty sure you it's, think Adele. it's Adele. Okay. But it might no be... No problem, Mom. So what I want... Uh, Microsoft. Okay. So what I want Actually, you to go I'm ahead and do sure is have a look on the... it's called Microsoft. Yeah. So uh, oh, what oh, I want wait, you to go no, ahead and do sorry. is it's have a... It's called a Windows. Yes, yeah, so that's a Windows computer, but uh, Windows is provided to you by Microsoft. And that's okay. the reason why your call is related to Microsoft Help Desk. So it is but Microsoft. Any which way, uh, what, I, yes, I, how can so I what be I want sure? You to go, how do I know for sure which one it is? Okay. Mom, as you're using a Windows computer, it is a Microsoft device, right? And apart from that, you can oh. be assured by having a look at the system at your computer that what's the make, what's the tagline which you see there? Um, it says, hold on, let me turn it back down. Should I turn the computer on? Yes, you can. Uh. Something says CD-ROM on it. Okay. Uh, oh, yes, it's a Dell. Dell Windows it's Microsoft. Dell, here. Dell Windows Microsoft Great. computer. Very good. So let me know once it you're back to your regular home screen. It also says USB. USB 2. Okay. I don't know what that means. No worries. Let me know once you're back to your home screen so that I can walk you through the troubleshooting steps, okay? All right. <clears throat> Hold on, I'm starting up the computer. Sometimes it does the... Sometimes it makes a noise when it starts up, sometimes it doesn't. Okay.
Now what? So are you back to your regular home screen now? Yes. Great. So what I want you to go ahead and do is I want you to go ahead and first uh, let it settle down, okay? It might take approximately four to five seconds in order to settle down and come back to your regular mode. So then what I want you to go ahead and do is have a look on the extreme left bottom down on the keyboard right next to the CTRL, the control key. Do you see the Windows key with four white squares in it? Four white boxes on the keyboard, on the keypad. Uh, can you hold on just... Can you hold on one minute? Sure, ma'am. Sure. Um, hold on. <laughs> I okay. might need to pause the... The guy... The guy, Walter, is like, he keeps messaging me, and I was like, bro, I already got the $150 million. He's like, what the H-E double hockey sticks are you talking about? Question mark, question, question. I feel like it might be the perfect time. I feel like I have to call him. Uh, but I also want to keep this guy. I, I might just make an excuse. Um, Like, okay. I'm sorry, my sister is calling. Can you, I put you on hold for just a minute? Uh, no problem, Mom. Take your time, please. I'm sorry. I'm right I'm, here. And if in case we get yeah, disconnected, I'll call you back. Don't thank worry, you. okay? Thank you. Yeah, I'm, thank you yeah. so much. He's still there. Hey, can you give me just one more minute? I'm, I don't know if you're still there. I, my sister, she's I'm still with you, Mom. medical procedure done, and I'm just help, I'm, I'm helping her. No, no problem. Yeah, it'll be one more minute. No problem. And then Take thank, your time. Thank you for your patience. I, I'm right I really, here. That's okay. I, I appreciate it so much. You know, the world needs more people like you. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Take your time, Mom. I'm right here. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, sure. I think she's. Uh, I just have to give her the the number of my uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, a quick phone number, and then I'll be back on the phone with you. Thank you. One one second. No problem, mom. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm. I'm here now. Mhm. Mm okay. Thank you. All right, so, um, Mom, uh, what I want you to go ahead and do is have a look on the extreme left bottom down on the keypad that's on the keyboard. Um, okay. Right next to the CTRL, the control key. Do you see the Windows button with four white boxes on it? Yes. I want you to go ahead and press it and keep holding it down. And while holding the Windows button down, press the letter R as in Robert. Um, okay. Now, once you do it, do you see a new window on the left bottom where it says type the name for program, folder, document, or internet resource, and Windows will open it for you? Yes, I think so. Okay, so inside the open box, that means inside the run box, I want you to delete whatever you have in and type in www. Dot. Okay. That's three W's. That's www. W, 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 dot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Support, that is S-U-P-P-O-R-T, support. Okay. Dot me, that is M as in Mary, E as in Echo, M-E. Okay. Uh. Okay. I'm loading it right now. Okay. And let me know whatever happens next, please.
Okay, it's loading a web page right now. Okay. And what was your name again, sweetheart? I'm sorry. Well, um, my name is Brandon, ma'am. Okay. Um, I, f I feel the need to just, if I ever say, you know what, I'm just going to skip it. But, Brandon, thank you, thank you for helping. I I am... Um, I appreciate. I that's, appreciate that's okay, you. Mom. That's all right. That's completely okay. Um. Shoot! Now I have to say it. Uh, if I ever say, "Let's go" at all, it has nothing to do with the completely absurd, ridiculous. <laughs> not even meme. I don't even know what it's called. Uh, it has no political affiliation whatsoever. Um, Mm -hmm. Kids these days. <laughs> All right, I'm on the computer and I'm looking at the icons. Uh, what do you see next on the computer screen? It's got my icons and it's got the the website. Okay, do you see support connection enter your six digit code? No, On the website? Uh, yes. Okay, is it asking you for a six digit code? Um, yes. Okay, so maximize it. Maximize the uh, web page. Please make it bigger. Okay. Now, let me know once you're ready for the code, okay? Yes, I'm ready. Oh. The... oh, where did it go? Uh... Oh, okay, got it. Keep going. Okay. Okay, I'm doing that right now. Now, what, now, once you click on Start Download, do you see a file being downloaded by the name of support log me in rescue dot exe? Um, that's going to be on the left bottom of the page, a blue cross where it says support log me in rescue or log me in rescue yes. dot exe. Good. I want you to yeah. go ahead and click on it and then open it, run it. Okay. Now, once you click on run, I request you to go ahead and please click on all the positive options you get there, like yes, okay, allow, okay. whatever you see. Um. It's, I think something's happening. I think. Because mm -hmm. it says, user account is control. User account is enabled. Right. So I want you to go ahead and click on yes, okay, allow, whatever you see on the user account control. <laughs> okay. I did that. Okay. Now what? Uh, 
I'll make now changes. click on all the positive options, all the prompts you get, like yes, okay, allow, whatever you see. Yeah, okay, I'm waiting. And you're going to be getting my name right there. Uh, my name is Brandon, as I did tell you prior. My okay. name is Brandon Black. I want you to go ahead and okay. click on OK. Well, it says, would like to perform one of the following. Yeah, click on OK. Okay. Okay, I did that, right. but now my computer page is different. Right. It's just because uh, you're sharing your computer screen with mine, okay? So, bear with me. Oh. Now, do you see okay. things are changing on the computer? The mouse is moving automatically? Yes. That's me, ma'am. Okay, I am able to go in oh. and see your computer screen. And I will be the able to go ahead and check what exactly like that happened. happened. I tried to download. I tried to download a recipe, how to make mayonnaise cake, and I downloaded mm -hmm. mayonnaise cake totally free recipe without virus. Dot exe. Mm -hmm. And then my mouse was moving all over the place for a couple of days. Okay. Anyway, so which web browser, which web browser do you mostly, uh, you know, use? Is it, uh, you know, uh, Google Chrome Google. or do you use? Okay. And what purpose do you exactly use this computer for? Just for your personal use? Or is it a work or a business computer as well, Mom? It's mostly for internet and for the bank and for recipe. Okay. I like to cook. Oh, wow. Okay. And so I like to watch so, uh, the people who make mm -hmm. the videos about how to cook things. Uh, okay. So I want you to go like and try I doing what you were trying to do when you got this alert today. Which bank were you trying to log oil. in? So like a magic trick. And which bank? Okay, which bank were you trying to log in when you got this alert today? What? Mom, which... Uh, you were trying to go ahead and access your bank account when you got this alert today, right? Yes, I have a Bank of America I, account. Okay, I want you to go ahead and please try signing into your Bank of America and check is everything working fine or not. Uh, okay, hold on. Yep. I have to look up the and password. Is this the very it. first? And uh, is this the very first time you've been experiencing these kind of problems with the computer, or yes. have you been experiencing it in the past as well? Yes, I, I don't normally have these sorts of problems. Okay, and apart from that, do you also use this extension for Russian? I mean, that's a Russian language, right? I don't know how to speak Russian. I don't know how that got on there. Okay, let me also go and remove that for you. Nothing to worry about. Thanks. Because all these extensions and all these, you know, Russian activities are not good. For your computer. So now try signing into your device. That That's means your what they used to say Bank about America. it. They used to say that about sugar, you know. Sugar's bad for you. 
Now look at it. That is correct. Sugar's so, everywhere. Okay, so now... Right, so now I want you to go ahead and please try signing into your account and see is everything going good or not. Okay, one second. Sure. I had to look up my password. Okay, he shouldn't. No problem. Take it all. This, Take all your time, mom. That's okay. Oops. I had to disconnect the network for a second. Okay, I think I found it. And I just log into the bank. Yeah, you can log in and check whether everything is working fine because it was a kind of a spyware or a Trojan who was trying to get in. It could oh. be a possibility that this might be an hacking attempt or whatever. So please check it first. Uh, you have kids? Well, absolutely, Mom. I do have kids. How many? Well, I have one son, and he's six years old. Oh, congratulations. Kids are kids are a gift. You know that? Mom, kids are blessings, trust They're, me. Kids are blessings. Exactly. Kids are blessings. And, They're you know, the future uh, of No matter our what world. happens. <laughs> That's why you got to feed them sugar for strong bones. <laughs> you know, cereal is a healthy part of every breakfast. Right. There really is no better option than a sugary bowl. <laughs> a sugar blasted corn vitamin puffs. <laughs> For my grandkids. Uh oh. Let me see. Let me try that again. For my grandkids, I just give them a bowl okay. of sugar and a whole milk. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I skipped the cereal. I mean, why bother? I might have to restart my internet here. Can I check it on my iPad? Mom, you would have to go ahead and check it from your computer as uh, while you were trying to go to log into your computer, that's when you got a block. So it could be a possibility that there is something fishy or could be a possibility that there is something going wrong with your Bank of America. So we would need to go in first, check that out for you. And uh, once we are sure about it, then we can go and proceed in order to go and check with the computer. Okay. Okay. Well, let me try again. So six years old, okay. they're just learning how to talk, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> what kind of words are is your son saying? Goo goo ga ga. Well, he does call. <laughs> well, nowadays, you know, the kids are really. Um... You know, it's it's new world. It's a growing world. So nowadays, the kids are growing really fast. They own two gadgets, technologies, and everything. Yeah. You giving them some kind of growth serum to make them grow faster? Well, 
Is that what you mean? No, that's right, Mom. Okay. What's your kid's name? Well, my kid's name is Adrian. Oh, Adrian, what a pretty name. Nickname for Adrian's Calvin, right? I'm sorry? Uh, they call Adrian Calvin, right? That's the nickname? No, Mom, it's just... No, that's just Adrian, that's it. Eddie? Adamant Armor? Yes, Eddie. That's correct. <laughs> All right, I'm on my bank now. Okay, so now I want you to go ahead and please uh, just bear with me. Let me just go ahead and quickly check what exactly is going wrong. Okay. All right, so if everything looks good uh, with your, you know, finances, I want you to go ahead and please sign out to your from your account, and I can go ahead and quickly check that out for you. Of what exactly it is. Yeah, everything seems good. Everything seems good. Okay, so you can go ahead and sign out from your uh, bank account. That's online banking of Bank of America. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and now let me just go ahead and see what exactly the problem is. All right, I'll go ahead and quickly run a scan on the computer. All right. Good Lord. What the heck is that? So I'm actually running in a quick security scan, and with your permission, I'm going to be placing a call on hold so that I can go ahead and check with my rest hosters that what exactly is going wrong within your device now, okay? And in the meanwhile, the scan is also up. Okay. Okay. Yep. So stay with me. I'm going to be placing a call on hold, and we'll be right back. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll watch the scan, even though I don't know what it means. Okay. I appreciate it. I'll be right back. I'll stay let with you me, know please. if it looks suspicious or anything weird's going on. Mm -hmm. Uh, hi, it's me, Kiboga, here to tell you that I'm being scammed. Wait, I don't know what they're doing right now. <laughs> uh, so they... Oh, they're adding ConnectWise Control. What a scummy platform. Um... So, yeah, he's downloading another tool to control my computer uh, even more scummily. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. it. It, like, runs in the background of the computer. And he'll hide the screen. He'll probably say something like, oh, like the thing that they've been doing over the past handful of months is the whole, uh, like, oh, someone's been using your computer for child pornography or just something crazy like that uh, to scare you and, and make you like dependent on their help. Uh, so he'll probably type something like that in the chat box in the little fake scan and, and be like, oh, look, something terrible is happening. That's likely what will happen anyway. Bow, bow, bow. 
right, I'm gonna drop the network connection for a minute. So you can't see what I'm doing. Um and I'm gonna run this really quick. Okay. All right, thank you so much for staying connected. Uh Susan, are you still with me? Um uh oh. Yes. Yes, I am. Are you? All right, mom, this is this is uh this is Brandon once again. I placed Hi, a Brandon. Hold, right. Thank you so much uh, for being there. And apart from that, Mom, uh, as I can see, this seems to me uh, a kind of a phishing case wherein, uh, you know, it's a kind of a security breach wherein your confidential information and your identities are being misused. Uh, okay. And uh, that is the reason why you've been getting a block on your computer today. This seems to me uh, just like a kind of a third-party access, or it could be a kind of a hacking attempt where someone uh, is using your identification, your identity, and your information for okay. any illegal activities over the internet. Okay, and that is, is not my safe. screen supposed to I be you... black? Is your screen black right now? Yes. Okay, I want you to go ahead and uh, use the cursor. Try moving your cursor. Huh. That's weird. Okay, what do you see on the computer screen right now? Is it black? <laughs> okay, uh, what do you see on the computer screen right now? It's um, a scan, a computer scan. That's a computer scan? Uh, yes. Okay, so is it in black? Uh, which color is it? Um, Right now... Hold on, let me turn my... Close the laptop and open it back up again. Okay. No problem. Take your time. Okay. I opened it back up and now I can see a computer scan. Okay. Great. Yeah. All right, so as I was talking about the issue today, which you're going through, uh, and it seems to me just like an identity theft wherein someone is trying to go ahead and use your identity over the Internet for illegal activities. All right? So let me just go ahead right, and hold get on your a call transferred to the... mm -hmm. Sure. What the heck are these cat and the mum files? Oh, Where do gone. you see that, Mom? Never mind. Okay, so those, are, those are the files identity. which is being... That is correct. Your identity is being misused over the Internet, oh, and that is no. the only reason why you got a block over your finances and a kind of a block on your computer so that nothing goes wrong with you. So let's not waste time as we don't want to you know, anything going wrong or out of control. So I'm going to be getting your calls transferred to one of the fraud prevention expert, to the fraud prevention department, who is going to be walking you further regarding the same. Okay. Thank God. So, so that nothing goes wrong with your bank account, Should with I your own money, no fraud. Take place. I don't want anyone to steal my identity. That's right, ma'am. So nothing to worry about. I'm going to be getting a call transferred to the fraud department. Just make sure that you listen to the steps. Listen Thank to them you. carefully so that they can If walk only you there was okay? a way to have known about this sooner. No problem, ma'am. Just bear with me, please. Let me get you connected right now without wasting much of your time, okay? Okay. Yeah. Technically, technically not an ad right now, but it could be. 
Thanks for staying online. Your call is been transferred to the fraud prevention team. And my name is James. How are you doing, Kadamia? What's your name again? My name is James. James. Uh, I need someone yeah, who right. could help me with a money laundering case. That's right. Uh, you are connected with the same guy, okay? Case. That's right, sir, miss. Uh, I will help you it's cut to save guard your money. Be. He said somebody, Brandon said somebody stole my identity. That's right, miss. I already know your case, okay? So oh. let me help you out. Uh, let me tell you, Miss, that well, uh, we have to safeguard. We have to safeguard your money, okay, which you have in your Bank of America, okay? Because I got to know that your Bank of America has a temporary block. You were unable to log in on into your online banking, okay? So I believe that your bank is suspicious about those two accounts, which is being used for money laundering, okay? You now, think so? before your bank. That's right. Now, before that does the Bank seem of America, right? Now, let me tell you, Miss. Before your Bank of America blocks everything on your account, okay? Before they seize your account, we have to transfer the funds so that you can use your money, okay? Because if they seize your account, it will be seized for ninety good days for the investigation, That's which means you will not be time. able to use a single penny out of it. That's a long time. Okay. Right. So let me tell you, we can safeguard this today. And as soon as the money is transferred from your Bank of America into a new account, you can tell the Bank of America yourself that uh, my computer guy told me about two accounts which is being used for money laundering. I don't know if me? I can wait because 90 case, days. That's a pretty long time. That's right. But then... As I am giving you a very good option, you don't need to wait for 90 days of investigation, okay? Because you will tell the Bank of America yourself that uh, there is some money laundering going on, okay? Now, we only okay. do that once so we... So call the bank once and tell them there's some money laundering? No, 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 no. Not right now. I'll let you know when to do that, okay? I'll tell you when to do that, okay? Okay, when? Okay, now, Miss, can what, you, what day, can you when, tell when me? When should I do that? <clears throat> what time? Miss Atford, as I told you, as I told you, uh, we have to transfer the money. We have to transfer the money that you have in your Bank of America at the first place, okay? So that they cannot block it, all right? Okay. Are you getting me? Where? Uh, give me one moment, Miss. I will be creating a account for you. Okay. So, and can you tell me how far is your Bank of America? How far is it? Three hundred and fifty miles. Three hundred and fifty miles away. Ah. So, so in case uh, if you go to the bank, how much time does it take? Bank of America? Miss, if, yes, if you go to the Bank of America to transfer the money from the Bank of America to a new account, how far is it? How much time will that take? A day or two. I, the one, a day or two? You're talking about the Bank of America like, where I opened my account. I, uh -huh. I lived in another city at the time. Oh, you're, you're living in another city. Yeah, it would take me, I have to take a trip on the Oregon Trail, 350 miles to the bay. 350 miles, okay. Uh, so, to go, let's it, do one thing. to go to the original bank that I opened it up in, though. Uh, there's probably another there's one, one in this, in this town. Uh -huh. Okay. Can you, uh, so the one that you have, uh, if you need cash, how do you uh, take cash out? Do you go to the bank, to the nearest bank uh, and check the cash out? I have underneath my mattress. 
in my bedroom. I'm sorry, is that a different bank? Yes. It's my own personal and bank. And what's the... It's your personal bank? Yeah, underneath my mattress in my bedroom, I keep cash. Oh, oh okay. So you keep cash in un, under your mattress? Yes. If only there was a way to get good night's sleep with any kind of sleep style. Hashtag. I understand. Okay. So, Not an ad. Sorry. Okay. Can you can uh can you do one thing? Uh, can you check with Bank of America? I, I'm. Are you lo looking on your uh, computer screen? Uh, I have a notepad on the screen, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I can read my I computer want you to re screen. It says check. Right. Check with your Bank of America if they honor a wire. I've done a wire before. You have done a wire before over the phone? For my grandson's college. And how much? How much did you wire transfer? 40000 40000 And that you did that over the phone? In four different wire transfers of 10,000 each into four different accounts 10,000 each I get it okay and did you do that over the phone or uh, you went to the bank yes college is so expensive you did that days. over the phone no 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 uh, I'm asking did you do the wire transfer over the phone like while talking to the banker over the phone yes Okay, perfect. So, uh, let me create a safe account for you first. Okay, then you need to call your bank so that you can wire the money to that particular new account that I will give you. Okay, that will be under your name and uh, we'll transfer the funds to make sure that uh, in case your bank blocks your Bank of America, you still have some money in your new account that we are going to transfer right now. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Give me one moment now. And Mr. Uh, do you have, by any chance, do you have your driver's license on your computer? How do I do that? Uh, do you have a smartphone? Are you using an iPhone or maybe Android? No, my phone's not very smart. <laughs> okay. You have an iPad, right? It, do it doesn't work very good, though. <laughs> Can you try clicking two pictures of your driver's license from the iPad? Okay. So you have to no. take two pictures. One is of the front and the other picture is of the back side. Do you have WhatsApp? I beg your pardon? Do you have WhatsApp? That's how I send pictures to my uh, grandkids on WhatsApp. Uh, on WhatsApp? That's how I talk to my grandkids and send them pictures. What's that? Okay. Uh, well, Miss, I, I, I can give you a text, okay? I can leave you a text message, and you can send it to me as a text message. That's going to work, okay? So you're saying that my identity has been stolen, and the best way to save it is to give you my identity. To give us the driver's license so that we can open a new account under your name and then you will transfer the money from Bank of America onto the new account that we are creating today for you. Oh, okay. you're going to go, you don't have to go through the trouble of making an account in my name for me. That's too nice. Because, Miss. I yes. can do so, uh, uh, If I just need to make a new account, I can call them up on the phone. No, no, Let's no, Miss. We are not up. making. No, no, no. Let me tell you that we are not creating an account with any of the bank. We are creating an account 
online. Let's call them. Okay, this is let's called. Let's call them up. Let's call them up together. I'm sorry. No, no, no! Don't call the bank. Let's get them on Don't the floor right now. Will... And we'll get. We'll... I'm sorry. Let's get down to business and defeat. Yes. The okay. Funds that have been misappropriated because my identity has been stolen. That's right. But then, as I told you, Miss, you don't need to say anything to the bank as of now before you transfer the funds, okay? Because uh, okay, if they I'll... block the account, you will not be able to use the money. That's what okay. I'm saying. Siri, okay. call so, uh... Bank of America. No, no, no. Don't call the Bank of America. Don't call them. It is not required right now. Siri, call Bank of America. Ma'am, can you hear me? Hold on, it's not. Hello. Sometimes she doesn't do a very good job. No, no, job. no. I, I, I want, on. I want you to read this on your com. Miss, that listen work, to I me. I want you to read it. this on the computer. Can I give you the phone number? Or do you want me to? Maybe I can do it without. Yeah, oh, I don't yeah, have give Siri. Me the phone I didn't pay Give for me that. the phone number. No, no, no. Miss. Totally, I forgot. Please look on your computer screen. Look on your computer screen. It says check with Bank of America me? if they have our wires. I said, oh, yeah, we'll give them a call and right then now I also, and check. No, don't call them. Don't hold call on, them. let me put you on don't hold call. for a second. No, 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 no. Miss, no. I said don't call. Do you hear me? Hello? 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 Ma'am, can you hear me? Hello? Okay, I think I got the number. I'm pretty sure. Yes, ma'am, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm gonna Hello? call. I'm gonna call him up so we can uh, double no, check. No, no. But I'm no. pretty, pretty first, sure it'll first, be just no. fine. First, listen. Shouldn't be that listen. big a deal. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm saying don't call. Why? Okay. Because the money is still with the Bank of America, they can seize the money. Okay. Why would they, they can seize, seize the it. money? So that that's my money. They will seize the money. I'll use it when I want. I understand. No, no, no. I'm saying in case. Let me write it down for you. I'm writing it down for you on the notepad. Okay. Please read it. Hold on. I can't find it. What's your last name again, James? It's James Banner. Banner? That's right. You know anyone named Bruce? I'm sorry? You know anyone named Bruce? Uh, I'm sorry, no ma'am. Okay. Me neither. If your bank gets to know but, uh, about the two accounts, you can move this butterfly. They will block the account and credit card. Oh, 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 oh. Shoot. Well, that's quite the predicament. Okay. 90 days is a long time. That's right. Heck, I don't even plan that far out these days. When they get to be my age.
kind of week to week, month to month. Not many days is a long timetable. Uh, we will transfer the funds online. No, no, no. Let's let's just. That's fine. We can we can open up a new account, like you said. Please read it now. I said that so we will transfer the funds online to a new smart wallet, which is under your name, so that you can still use your money. No thanks. Okay. No thanks. Miss, in that case, uh, I think they, I better can call the account. police or, or, or someone to help me with my Miss, identity. Miss, let me tell you, if you go to any government department, they will block the account. You can try that. Okay. And that will be blocked what? for 90 days because 90 days, that is the estimate time for the investigation. Why would he? Why would the government? Block my account. Because it's your name, it's your location, it's your internet which is being misused for those two accounts to launder the money. Okay? So in case well, then I gotta you clear yourself, my good name, don't I? That's what I'm saying. And that's why I'm helping you out. I'm telling you a best way. That's the best what way. The out. Smart world. I don't even have a regular wallet. I put my money under a mattress, for God's sakes. I understand. This is wallet? called a smart. Smart wallet is a digital wallet. Okay, so you will have access to the digital money. Okay, you will also get a card. All right. So in case you need the money to use, you can access your money is this some with kind a card. Of you can deal? go to an ATM. That's right. I don't want to sign have up full for your, to your account wallet. and and this is just like a normal bank. They give you a debit card, you go to an ATM, you withdraw money. Okay? How In the can same case, you can do be that. Smart. But you just put your money smart in. Smart wallet means smart wallet means you can use this wallet on your smartphone, you can use this wallet on your tablet. Oh, I don't trust that. That is called. Uh, but but you do trust online banking, right? Back in my if you day, trust online we, banking? Used, we never did nothing. You'd go to the store and you'd say, "Hey, hey, Mister, I like a, I like I a pe pack of Pepsi and a dozen eggs." My and I, I, I tell that. him my I my, my dad my daddy's Mister Andrews. And he'd say, okay. Oh, okay. He'd write it, he'd write uh -huh. it down on a clipboard, on a piece of paper. And, and then he'd just give okay. me the eggs, and later my daddy would come back and pay him in cash. That's about as smart okay. as the money ever got. It's been right. dumber ever so, since then. Yeah, speaking of Pepsi eggs, you ever, you ever pickle an egg inside Pepsi? <laughs> I never did. Never even no, tried. No, that's just, that's a treat. You can just put an egg inside a two liter of Pepsi. Mm -hmm. Leave it in there for okay. a couple I'll weeks. Try that. Take care of the rest. I will try that. Uh, it's kind of like a candied egg. First, and then I'll try that. Talk okay, Mr. Please late check night your. Uh, Uh, the, doubles, the number you're calling it, from, which it is doubles, is a bit of a miss, mothball uh, too. So if you don't want to eat it, you, the bugs hate it. Yeah, I understand. So Max, you, you can put it in the attic or something. Yes. Now, Miss, uh, the number you're calling from that is three three nine. Yes. <laughs> it's a, a cell phone. phone. It's a cell phone. Wonderful. I'm sending you a text message. Uh, let me know if you once you receive your text, okay? Bear with me.
Ma'am, please check. Uh, have you received uh, the text message? Hold on. I'm sure. not good with text messages. I mostly use WhatsApp. Okay. Try uh, checking the text message. So the government can't help me, only Microsoft can? Okay, I'm waiting for the text. I don't have anything yet. I got one a couple of days ago. Uh, it says, uh -huh. Dear customers, $1,000 charged from your card for a MacBook Pro. But I haven't gotten my All MacBook right. yet. Still waiting. Okay. Uh, uh, how do you check your email? Do you check your email on your smartphone? No. You don't use email? Sometimes I do on my computer. But Sometimes you do on the computer. And, I don't and like what about it. tablet? Do you use uh, yeah, whatever do I thought you, you use, said uh, email I had on to the make tablet? a new bank account. I thought you said I had a wire mm -hmm. of the money. The smart wallet, yes. What if I don't want a smart wallet? Ma'am, that is required because if you uh, please check or uh, read this on your computer screen, please read it. I am typing it for you. Do they have smart purses? Uh, beg your pardon. Can you say that again? Do they have do they have smart purses or only smart wallets? <laughs> well, uh, it's one of the same things. Smart or a purse smart or fanny smart pack? wallet. I like those. Uh, uh, this is not actually a physical wallet. This is a digital wallet. Well, then what the heck is it? Is that even real? This is a digital wallet, miss. Digital. I'll, let you, I'll let you know, okay? Don't worry about it. At first, kindly know. read what I'm typing for you, okay? Did you text me photo ID proof? That's right. That's me. So you Someone have to send the driver's license picture on the same photo number. Photo ID proof to me. They're trying to steal That's my right. identity. You're right. No, no, no. The I have sent you this message, Miss, oh. so that we can fix the things for you. Do you have WhatsApp? Uh, I'm sorry, Miss, I don't use WhatsApp, but you can text me on the same number. It's free. Uh, even the text messages are free these days. No, I pay, I pay, I don't pay for multimedia messages. I can't send pictures. Got it. Let me, it's too expensive. In, in that case, let me give you the, let me give you the uh, WhatsApp number, okay? Give me okay. one moment. All right, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to be able to go with it. I, I've i noticed over the past couple of weeks, scammers have been more and more into the like, oh, let me just sign up for a Bitcoin wallet under your name and straight up wanting to steal your identity. It could just be a shift in like maybe maybe after uh, after Mike and the president, M Mike and Joe lost 38 accounts. Maybe they... <laughs> Maybe they used up to way too many of the bank accounts in the scammer world, and now they're pivoting. I don't know. I, it seems like it's a little bit of a new meta, perhaps because it's easier for them to to launder their money this way. Um, 
but it seems nuts to me that grandma would just be so willing to be like, oh, yeah, sure. I'll make a digital wallet. That sounds great. Sign me up. But I guess they want, you know, they want you to be scared and just send a picture of your. It also, I could be wrong, but doesn't it seem a little weird for them to be like, your identity was stolen. Can I have your identity? Mom, can you hear me? It seems a little bit, but I don't know. Seems a little bad. I'm hoping that people don't fall for it, but. Hello? Yes, I'm here. Yes, ma'am. Uh, that's the WhatsApp number on your computer oh, screen you... on the notepad, which is. Oh. All right, all hands. And this is your number. This is James Banner. I just sent you a message that says hello. Okay. Let me see. Should be a picture of my dog. Hello, Bija. Hello. Yes, Mr. So I have checked. We have received your message with says hello. So on on this uh, on this number, please send the picture of your driver license, the front and the back side. Let me show you what I can four do. Corners uh, is visible. I don't really drive. Sure, take your time. But I. I understand. See. But I have my husband. My husband has a uh, his his veteran affairs license. I can mm -hmm. give you that. I'll get that. No, no, no. It has to be. So the Bank of America, is it on your name? The Bank of America, is it on your name or it's is it on your husband's name? It's Richard and Susan. It's a joint account. So, okay. So uh, as it is a joint account, who is the primary account holder? Is your husband the primary account holder? We both are. You both are. Because okay. we're married. And we're in love. I, I sent want you, you to send me. I sent your... you his. You, did you get that? Susan, I, I want the driver's license, which is on your name. I, so I, I need your from... driver's license, which says Susan Andrews on it. I don't have a driver's license. You don't have a driver's license? No. Do you, have, do you have state ID? Do you they have a state ID me. or... Uh, what about state ID? Yeah, they took it from me. Uh, it's a long story. Okay. Uh, so what Fine, about passport? You. Do you have passport? What? Do you have passport? <laughs> no, I can't get one. Okay. What about state ID? Yeah, they took it from me. They took it from you. So, uh, what I'm is the photo ID proof for yourself? Busters too. Oh my goodness! So you don't have any After photo ID accident. proof for yourself? So you mean to say that you don't have a photo ID proof, right? My husband does. I sent it to you. No, I'm talking about yours. That is Mr. Andrews, but I'm talking about your Susan Andrews. No, no, we're too old to worry about this stuff. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can find anything else around the around the desk, but I don't think I do. Maybe a library card. Okay. Um, what about your Social Security card? 
I got a Blockbuster membership. You got a Blockbuster membership. Well, that won't work. And I got something from Cracker Barrel, too. Here, let me take a picture. This is this one's under my name. Okay, which one is it? It's a Cracker Barrel. It's a free meal at the Cracker Barrel. No, ma'am, that won't work because that's not a government uh, ID. Oh. That's no, just a meal card. What about a... Okay, just bear with me. What about a fishing uh, license from 1986? A fishing license? And is your husband with you right now? I mean, he's sleeping, but he's here. He's sleeping, okay. I can wake him up. Why? Is, is every, he, he does, do we need his help? And as, as you did tell me that uh, the account of Bank of America, that's uh, a joint account with your husband, or is that a sole account, and which is under your name? It's both of ours. That both of yours, right? It's a joint bank so that's account. A, that's a joint account, okay. No problem, just bear with me. Let me see what I can do for you, all right? He's gonna be grouchy. Richard! Rich! Wake up, you lazy bum! Get up! Hold on a minute. No problem. Take your time. Brush your teeth, too. We got a phone call we got to deal with. And I don't want to smell that. Yeah, yeah, this is... That's what, they're, that's what they've been saying. It's, I don't know. I don't understand half of it. Maybe they, maybe they can explain it a little differently because I, I'm not sure I totally understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 fine. Look, I'm recording myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's fine. That's fine. That way I can talk at the same time. Do Do you still need to talk to my husband? I can hear him brushing his teeth. Well, let me see, let me let me see what I can do for you, Mom. If I, if in case uh, if we need him, we'll definitely talk to him regarding his name. Okay. I have a bingo card. My name used to be Well, R darling, McGillicuddy. The, the, before the bingo I got card married, won't I have work an old either bingo card with because... my picture on it. If you need that. Yeah, I mean, but the bingo card. The bingo card won't work either because that's not a government card, oh. okay? What about yeah. our Medicare card? For your Medicare card won't work either, health Mom. insurance. No, your health card won't work. No, just your driver's license. It could be your state ID or your passport. Yeah, they took those... After the accident. And why? What happened? Why Why did they take it away from you? Well, let's just say things got a little dicey at the David Busters. My lawyer said oh, okay. I shouldn't talk about it. All right. Okay, fine. I'll tell you. You know skee-ball? That game where you launch those... Yep. Little balls up a ramp. Yeah. Well, this lady, Cheryl, we'll say. We'll call her Cheryl with an S. I'm over there, and I'm the all time, mm -hmm. I'm the all time champ. Highest score. Two year back to back blue ribbon champion. 
And I'm there wow. one night. Rachel will tell you. I'm there one night going for a new record. I mean, I'm landing a Hyundai 500, 100, back to back. Richard hands me a bite of nachos, and I'm just going to town. You know what I'm saying? And this woman, she comes up to me. She knocks that ski ball right out of my hand and says, whoops. Turns out, it's that two-timing cheat, Cheryl, from Idaho. She's got a record over mm -hmm. there in Idaho, and she's coming for my record in Ohio. And then I, I start giving mm -hmm. her a piece of my mind. And some of the things that came out of my mouth, I probably shouldn't have said. Next thing you know, the cops are called. And then it gets ugly. I, I still have the record, though. Two okay. records. Undefeated. Mm -hmm. I tried to throw her I tried to ball her up and throw her up there but I don't have the muscles like I used to I can understand that mom I bet you can it's not a very complicated story. Unfortunately, the jury thought it was pretty complicated. Okay, so as you can see on the computer screen, I'm creating a digital wallet for you. Okay? Oh, that's... A digital account. Yeah. That's great news. Uh, hashtag not bad. <laughs> Um, I don't really want a digital wallet. Mom, in that case, well, uh, this oh, is really on, important my, to go my, ahead my and create an... I'm right. going to put you on speaker. Yeah. Richie, these, these guys sure. are... Sure. I don't understand why you're bothering me. It's because they said there's a, a thing about the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the that's, identity, that's, 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 and they're telling us... Just talk to him. Just talk to him. Can you hear? Can you hear us? Hello. Yes, I, I can. I can hear you, Miss uh, Andrews. What's the big? Yeah, I can hear you, Mom. What's the deal? What's going on? Why'd you? Why'd you yeah, wake? Yeah, yeah. Why'd you wake me up with a over or something like this? That's what they've been saying. That's... What are you? What's going on? Okay, well, uh, sir, your identities are being used for illegal activities and money laundering. And are you aware of it? I believe no. Didn't ask. And that's what we are working on from the last one year. No, I mean, they, from the last one hour. They're telling us about it. Yeah, well, no one asked. I didn't... I don't... I don't... What's the big deal? They're, they're help. They're helping us to recover. They're helping us to recover identities, Richard. Well, what do they? What do they do exactly? I guess. I mean, what, what would you say, know. though? Probably. I don't understand half of it. Well, tell. Well, what is it then? Tell. Can you explain it to us, please? I beg your pardon, sir. I said, can you explain it to us, please? Sure. Uh, well, sir, um, my technician found my a technician found two different accounts. One is Chase, and the other one is Wells Fargo, which is being used as money laundering. Okay. Now you're not aware of those accounts because these accounts are just being misused from your internet from your location which means yeah. that someone is misusing your internet and your identity over it okay now if your own bank which is bank of america uh -huh. if your own bank gets to know about those two accounts which is being used for to launder the money they uh, will God, first of all yeah, block yeah, your yeah, account is. which is on your That's name a, okay and then they will start with the investigation 
That doesn't sound so bad. And so once the investigation... They're investigating everything? They're not investigating everything right now. I'm saying that the investigation goes for 90 days, which means once your account is blocked, it's blocked for 90 days. You will not be able to use a single penny out of it. That's it? That's right. That's what they said. Okay. Well, I mean, we got cash here at the house. I understand, sir. So what I am saying is we can safeguard the funds. We can safeguard the money, which means uh, that you will still have access to your own money. Okay? And then uh, you can talk to the Bank of America as well. I think we're well. good. I don't know if we need to do that. Well, well sir, it is required. Sure take I understand that you got the money. Right, it'll take 90 days otherwise. So we wait 90 days. I mean, I don't... What's the deal? How... The deal is... If your money, the money that you have, the cash I'm talking about, once you're out of cash, how are you going to use the money which is in the Bank of America? That's what I'm saying. I'm going to wait 90 days. 90 I days guess. is a long period of time. Well, sir, it's easy to say that I can wait for 90 days, but it's 90 days. You've been to college, That's right. son? We're, to we're talking about three months, sir. You been to the military? <clears throat> nope. You think 90 days is a long time? Three months is nothing. The well, sir, three months is Wait a good till time. You're 78 Once you're years out of old. cash, even, even three minutes is. Three months, three back months to go. goes by like cash. a wildfire when you're my age. I got money under the mattress. Mm hmm. I mean, I could use a small loan, if you don't mind. I, I don't think you're going to give well, us sir. a loan. That's what I'm saying. When you go to the bank to get a loan, they will find two other accounts as well, that you already have an account which is being used to transfer funds out of the country. What if... So what if we just tell Sir, them? Sir, we are talking about, we are, we are think, here you know, talking about, this is a serious issue. What if we just call the bank and we say, hey, uh, our identity has got stolen? That actually seems like a pretty good idea. Yeah, I guess we could it's call not. Bank of America and say, hi. As I, as I said, my identity if you yourselves stolen, go to the government and say that your identity has I been do? stolen, they will first of all block the account. Well, I said that before, and then he was. Maybe they, maybe was they saying, can explain it a little differently. I don't. Because, I don't know because he said he I'm said that sure we can't do it. Understand. I don't understand why we can't do well, it. Well, uh, that's that that's that's not gonna make a difference. What I'm trying to do here is, I'm trying to make sure that you have access to your own money because in case Bank of America sees the account you will not be able to use the account, okay? You will not be able to take the cash out. That's what I'm saying. Sir, I I'm don't trying think to save that hassle the for you. I to understand what's going on right now. So you're saying, I'm going to take all my money and I'm going to put it where? All I'm saying exactly. is, don't, don't, take out, don't take out... The heck is a digital wallet? It's a wallet. digital wallet that sure, will be so on your it? name. I don't know. Sounds like the sounds like something the devil cooked up. Uh, sir, I want you to please check it on your computer screen. What do you? I am creating you a, digital a digital wallet, wallet for you, wallet. and that is on. That sounds a little suspicious and that's, to me. Sir, digital wallet is just like online banking. Online banking is also digital. You do that on the computer. So the account that I'm creating for you right now, you can see that on your computer screen. It's under your name. I'm creating this on your name, Richard Andrews. Do you see that? Oh, cool. Only you will have access to it. That's what I'm doing for you. And okay. I get 200 bucks? So from once... That's right, sir. You will also get 200 bucks on it. Well, why didn't you lead with that? Why didn't you lead with, I get $200? That seems like the bigger sell. <laughs> well, so I'm not selling anything here. 
Okay. I'm making sure that your money is secure. Okay. And once we transfer right. the funds into this particular account, which is on your name, I will myself ask you to call the bank and I will stay with you on the phone as a proof. Okay. Okay. Because yeah. Let's I'm do the that technician. Now. I'm the guy. I think that let's call the bank Perfect. now. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. We don't need to call the bank yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. We have to first create this account. Yeah, I we agree. We have to transfer the funds first. Yeah. We have to transfer yeah. the funds first. Well, and I, once I, the I money wanna... is transferred, then we will call the bank. I definitely feel more comfortable. Not talking right now, to the sir. Bank right yeah. Now. Yeah. I think the bank well, is sir, right, yeah, right, right now is I not think the right now is not good. Right now is not a good time to talk to the bank. Why though? Because, sir, uh, this is a serious issue, okay? You have to understand that there are hackers, okay, who get into your details through internet, okay? If you do a mistake hackers? on internet, if you click on something bad, on okay, they might get into your system. That's right. That's why they're using your computer, they're using your location, they're using your IP address. Right? As you're a waitron, you know what the IP address is, right? That's your digital location. So the hackers are misusing your location. They are misusing your system. They are misusing your internet. Your internet is on your name, okay? Which makes you suspicious, okay? The government will blame you because they are using your internet. Hold on, I'm chewing pretzels right now. I I hope that I'm making point now. You think we should call the police or the fire department? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Can There's no fire at your place. You don't involved? need to call the fire department. No, sir. It is not required. So what is required? We are at first. The requirement is to save the money. Okay, that's the requirement. Once the money is transferred into this new account, which I'm creating on so your name, me that at then any you can second, go. Bank of America will might uh -huh. look at my account and notice that I'm laundering money, and that my account is being used for illegal activity, and they'll shut it down. And instead of calling them, that's right, or the police, uh -huh. I should. Well, sir. As of Create now, what I'm Coinbase saying is, account. right now, right Does now, Does this seem like a pretty important thing to do, to like, yes, call sir. the bank? Let me, let me explain you why we need to do this first, okay? If you yourself call the bank, if you yourself call the police and let them know that someone has stolen my identity, okay? I'm, let me give you a live example. Let's suppose that you have that your credit card is stolen. Okay, what is the first thing you do? You call the credit card department. I cut my you tell credit them card in half. I, I understand, sir. I'm giving you a, an example. I so cut what it we in do? Half. We call the bank. Well, one time we did. We call the bank. One time we did declare bankruptcy, though. That's true. We called up everyone we knew and we mm -hmm. said, "I declare bankruptcy." Yeah. I understand, sir. Well, sir, this is a totally different scenario. Okay. Doesn't seem that different. <laughs> right. Uh, well, it's it's really different and it's really serious. Okay. Because if someone is uh, has stolen your credit card, you can chop the card. I understand. But your if your credit card is stolen, you call the bank. You let them know that my credit card is stolen. Now, what's the first thing they will do? They'll block your card so that no one can use it. Yeah. Okay. And I get a new so one. if you call the bank and tell them yourself that your identity has been stolen and someone is misusing your account for money laundering, what they will do first? They will first of all block your Bank of America right then and there. Okay. That's okay. for the security purposes. So that's what I'm saying. If they block the account, it, the this money is, is of no use. What do you want to do from here, I guess? 
So what I'm saying is, let me do the work. Let me create an account on your name. I'm not, okay. I'm not then good at gymnastics, people... okay? These mental gymnastics are a little too advanced for me. That's why I'm here to help you out, sir. You want me to just... And I uh, hope that I have answered all of your questions. What, any, uh, Susan just went to the bathroom. She said something about wiring money. Can I just wire some money somewhere? Get this thing over with? That's right, sir. That's right. So as I am opening a Coinbase account for you on your name, Richard, okay, you just okay, need to really wire, quick, the, really wire the money preface, into... These views do not necessarily uh -huh. represent me. They represent Richard Andrews. I hate Coinbase. I don't want to I don't want to sign up for uh, this. But, Why would I sign up for a digital wallet? I don't understand. Because... Uh, it doesn't, because, uh, it doesn't make any sense. You, Again, it doesn't necessarily represent you, me. It just represents me, Richard Andrews. I don't like digital currency. That's right. Cryptocurrency is a scam. Let me tell you, sir. My grandson told me about it. Not at all. It. He told me all about it. Not at all, sir. Again, not necessarily uh -huh. representing my views. Well, Just Richard Andrews' uh -huh. views. I would never want uh, to upload well, Rick, my money uh, into an account like this. Well, sir, we are, you are just wiring the money into this Coinbase account, which is on your name. Hey, what about for NFTs, the time though? Being. Uh, you ever heard of NFTs? I heard those are legit. Well, sir, even the wire is legit. I understand that you are confused about crypto and F NFTs. NFTs is something new, okay? It's not that good. All right, but crypto, that's on your name, sir. Okay, it's not my name in there, that's your name. Only you will have access to it, not even Susan, only yourself. I trust, and I once trust this, Susan. uh, everything I'm just giving an example, we're like, sir. We're, uh, we're okay, soulmates. don't mind that. We're soulmates, in fact, right. we that's signed true. up for You're a program and, that's supposed to preserve our God consciousness you, in some sort of brain goo. That after we die, oh, okay. and I told them to try to merge our two consciousnesses together so that when we get rebirthed from some sort of that somewhere in the future, that we would both just be like a mega, a mega person. Oh, that is so sweet. That's pretty really expensive. nice thought, sir. It's pretty expensive, but... That's right. Yeah. I get that. Okay. It's called Crow so, Pro. You ever heard I of think, it? Uh, never. Never did. Yeah, they used the milk okay, of crows Rich, uh, can to you, cryogenically. Can you help me? Okay, can you suck your consciousness out of your brain and they put it in a vat? Uh -huh. Pretty cool. Anyway, what are we uh -huh. doing here? Because uh, okay, Rich, I, I want you to please day. put down your email here. Can you put down your email? <laughs> No. Uh, right here, in here, that says email. There you go. Type in your email. I'm just going to, one more time for the people in the back. I don't want to sign up. I'm sorry? I don't want to, I don't want to sign up for it. So, uh, I'll probably just, probably just call the bank. Uh, well, sir, I have already explained to you n number of times. If you call the bank, they will first block the account. That's okay. I mean, I listen. Listen, if you, you, if you mm -hmm. think this country is an heading down the hill, you don't have at least ninety uh -huh. days worth of preparations in place. You're crazy. All right. You think I can't survive for ninety days without going to the bank account? What kind of fool do you think I am? I got I got dried milk for days. You know how many little packets of flaked potatoes I have in my basement? I got enough canned baked beans for the next three years, let alone three months. The only thing I'm worried about is prison. Because I've been there once, and I'm not doing that again. 
Well, I, I understand that, sir. Well, in that case, what I can recommend you, if you really, really don't want to go ahead and, you know, take a risk at it or don't want to go ahead and create a digital account for yourself, well, in that case, I would need to go ahead and clean up a computer and get you a security done on it. That's what you can do. Cool. Because at this current situation, your computer is highly infected. You do have IP issues going around. And if you don't want to go ahead and do that, you want to talk to the bank directly, you can go ahead and do it. But however, your computer okay, does require a service and a security. Let's call up the bank. Hold on. I'll call up the bank right now uh, so we can, give them, we can talk to them. Okay. Well, you do have my number, and you can call me back. You don't want to talk to the bank with me? Explain what's going on? Well, if you want to go in and... Yeah, absolutely, sir. If you want, you can, I can go ahead and explain them. Okay. For quality purposes, your call may be recorded or monitored. All of our associates are currently assisting other customers. Please stay on the line. Your call will be answered in the order that it was received. Just give me a minute. Turn your goals into action with LifePlan. LifePlan helps you set and track your goals and breaks down big goals into easier, attainable milestones. Start today in the mobile banking app or online banking. I don't know how long this is going to take, but... Uh... No problem, sir. I'm right here with you. Yeah, appreciate. I appreciate you. I appreciate Thank you, you for being a Bank of America client. These calls are recorded and monitored. You have reached Nadia from Al. Whoops! Accidentally hung up. Hold on. Let me call back. No problem, sir. Whoopsies. That was, uh, I think I called the wrong number there. Hold on a minute. Okay. That's my bad, Bank of America. Please don't hate me. I don't know why the timer paused. I, for meant, quality purposes, I meant to switch to my voice. I thought, or I thought I was going to be on hold for a very long time. All of our associates are currently assisting other customers. Please stay on the line. Your call will be answered in the order that it was received. Thank you for calling Bank of America. You've reached Nadea on a recorded line. How can I help you today? Hi, this is Richard Andrews calling. Hi, sir. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. How can I help you today? I'm calling with a a guy, a friend of mine from Microsoft about a problem. Okay. Do you want to um, elaborate on that a little bit? Are you still on the phone, James? Are you still there? Uh, this is... Yeah, I'm still with you. Oh, hi. Okay. Um, hello? Well, hi, Mama. This is James. We are actually on a three-way call. Okay. Is James a valid member? Uh of your account or, or is James your son or something? Uh, he's, he's helping me with my computer. Okay. Um, what, okay. What seems to be the problem? Well, the problem seems to be that, uh, you bad, know, this current situation, we actually, Sorry, could uh, just one we person, actually, uh, checked. Could just one person talk, please. It's okay. It's, sorry. Please go ahead, Richard. No, you go ahead, Jamesy. You go ahead. Okay, so your name, just for my records, okay, I'm, I'm speaking with a Richard them. and a Jamesy. Is that right? Yeah, James. That is correct. Okay, and are either of you a Bank of America customer? Yes, yes. Okay, who? Uh, I am. I am the account holder. Okay, go. Okay, go ahead and explain the uh, situation then. Take it away, James. Okay. Well, um, hi, Mom. Uh, well, my name is Brandon. 
And yes, well, what exactly happened today is just because uh, Mr. Richard has been using his computer with along with his wife, uh, Susan. Okay. And uh, okay. we have actually rectified some unusual activities on his computer. And oh he God, has been okay. doing online banking That's from his computer, wherein we've got some... Un and, yeah. and we have actually sure rectified some issues Richard. going around with this device. Okay. Okay. And he also had some foreign connections connected to his computer, and that could be a scam or it could be anything as well. Oh my so God. we are right here okay. to help him out, and that's what he needs to verify with you guys. Um. Okay, so if I understand correctly, you have been helping, uh, Miss, is it Mister Richard or 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 whatever? What was your last name, sir? Andrews. Okay, you were helping Mister Andrews with his computer, and you noticed something suspicious. What do you care to elaborate that is on? Correct. On what they was have suspicious? Been... Do you think I should transfer the? Sorry, I, I'm I'm I've only been here. For you know, for a few weeks. Would you like me to transfer you over to the fraud department? Uh, yeah, sure, you can. Yeah, I don't know. Would the fraud team fraud team be better? Well, they specialize in uh, scams and fraud and, and, and stuff like that. So if you're afraid that you might be being scammed right now or that you might be caught up in wired fraud or something, they would be able to help you with that. Uh... Yeah, I mean, what do you, what do you think, James? Which which department do we need? I'm well, like we can personal... go ahead and definitely talk to the fraud prevention department from Bank of America. We can definitely explain the case to them, and let's see what they have to say about it. Um. Okay. All right. Give me one quick second. Let me let me just place you on. Let me just place you on hold. Hold on. Sure. Thank you. Kind of nice old music, jeez. Thanks for your help, James. Uh, I'm sure we'll get this sorted out. We appreciate it, that, sir. Hi, welcome to Bank America Fraud Department. This is Josh. How can I help you today? Uh, hi, hi, Josh. This is Richard Andrews. How are you? Uh, I'm doing all right. Uh, is there? Can I get a name and the last four of your social security, please? Uh, yeah, it's Richard Andrews, and the last four digits are six nine three four. Okay, hold on a moment, please. And what seems to be the problem today, Richard? 
Well, I got a guy named uh, James on with me. He was taking a look at my computer. Okay. And he, I guess sir, we ran into a little bit of problems. Okay. And is that the person with you uh, at your house right now? Or? No, he's on the phone. Uh, are you still there? Are you still there, James? Well, yes, uh, Miss Andrews, I'm still with you. Hi, Josh. Uh, hi, Josh. This is your um, your James. Then is it? Okay. Well, that's correct. Uh, I'm the technician, James, from Microsoft. And uh, okay. apart from that, uh, uh, the really reason quick, why we've been uh, getting in touch with you. Just want to interrupt you there quickly, Richard. Do you authorize? Sure. Uh, James, to be on the call with you today and, and, and potentially overhear sensitive banking information about your account? Of course, yeah, I, I don't mind at all. Okay, and how is James related to you? Would you say uh, he's a family member or a, uh, a friend? Computer. Uh, computer guru. I'm a, I'm a computer technician. Um, let me just see if I have an option for, I mean, I have other, I have lover, life partner, I'll, I'll just, it's fine, I'll put it down as other, and it was James, what's your last name? Well, my last name is Black. Okay. That's black as in the cuddle black. Oh, you're related to uh, the other guy. That is correct. Okay, great. So, um, yeah, why don't you guys go ahead and tell me uh, the situation you got going on today? Okay, yeah, James, uh, Josh, James what exactly will do a happened? Much better I mean, job of explaining it than I, uh, you know, all right, than um, I'd be able to do it. So. Probably have James do it. The, doesn't matter okay. to me. Uh, it so is just Andrews. easier on a on a call like this. It is easier to just have one person, you know, uh, speaking though. So uh, just and, and and I should let you know that this call is recorded for quality and training purposes. Uh, for any reason that uh, bothers you, um, I, I suppose feel free to hang up. All good here, boss. Okay, guys. So how can I uh, assist you today? All right, Josh. Uh, well, what exactly happened? Uh, as being a computer technician, uh, you know, uh, Mrs. Andrews and Mr. Andrews, I mean, these uh, both are senior citizens, first of all. Okay. And uh, what exactly is happening with their computer is that we have actually rectified some foreign intruders, spywares and malwares on their computer. And which is oh, definitely wow. a kind okay. of a security risk. Wow. And wow. they also go ahead and do uh, online banking. They do banking every day uh, with you guys yep. at Bank of America, and that is not at all safe. Okay, interesting. And that's what they are oh. actually concerned about. And as you know, these guys are uh, senior citizens, and they do not understand much of uh, technologies, as you know, to go in a um, world nowadays. So that's yeah. what they were spectacle Speak about, and they wanted to go in and talk to you regarding the same. Okay, so you're recommending, um, do you guys have some sort of antivirus uh, software running on the computer? That's correct. Uh, we do, we do are recommending McAfee, and we do well, are uh, recommending that, the services okay. go ahead and take care of. Okay. Uh, um, all right, just looking up, uh, just making a couple notes and taking a look at your account. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate your time there. Josh. Yeah, no problem. This is my this is my job there, Mr. Andrews. Uh, okay, so I'm looking up your account here, and I don't notice anything particularly strange. Why don't I just go over a couple of the recent transactions um, really quick, just for verification. Is that okay? Yeah, as long as that's okay with you, Josh. I, nah, I almost called you <laughs> Josh. <laughs> No, uh, I'm Josh. Yeah, G James. Uh, so the last transaction that I see on the account 
was made on the 5th. It looks like it was for uh, $1,500 to Baked Beans Direct. Yes. Okay, and I also see... Uh, it looks like you guys did a little bit of shopping um, at Target on the 3rd. Yes, that is correct. Okay. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Now, James, normally we would notice in situations like this lots of strange transactions in the account. Uh, one thing that we can do, if you would like, and this is not a requirement, but if we do offer it, if it's something that you would choose to have done, Richard, is we could, if you're, okay. if you want, we could block the account temporarily. Uh, just for a few days, uh, especially your debit card from making any purchases. Um, that'll give you some time to, to look into your account um, and see what's going on. And in the meantime, no one would be able to make purchases. Well, now James was saying that it was a 90 day thing. I'm sorry, what was that, James? Okay, well, that was exactly the same thing I was trying to explain him. That if the bank found, or if you guys found anything suspicious, or if there is a temporary or a permanent nope. block in your account, that might go up to 90 days, if um, I am wrong, or if I'm correct. I mean, I don't see anything suspicious here. Um, well, definitely, because what about problems does not knock the door and walk in. Uh, sorry, say that again. I'd like. I, I. What do you? What are your uh, opinions on an electronic wallet? Um. I'm. I'm not sure. I exactly follow that. that I don't believe that's an offering uh, at Bank of America, but I could check with my manager. No, he was saying to, to because my money is going to be frozen. I should move it to a wallet. Um, okay, sorry, so James, you have a reason to believe that the money in Mr. Andrew's account will be... Yeah, uh, is, is at a risk because his computer is I mean, is I certainly don't see any risks for... here uh, from what I could tell. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Well, have you noticed I'm pretty sure any... that you can't go ahead and see anything uh, from you your any end, that means on the oh. banking server. Oh, sorry, go ahead. But I can see Did... it on the computer. Didn't mean to interrupt you there. Because the source, correct, because the source for using his online banking with Bank of America is his computer. Where his computer and his oh, IP yeah, address yeah, yeah, is highly yeah. infected right now. It's the computer. Um, I hope you understand that, Josh. It's not the bank. It's well, the computer which is um, in trouble, and he's using the okay. same identification, the same identities, and the same IP address for Bank of America from an infected source. So if there oh, are spywares and intruders right. or any kind of hackers connected to the computer, definitely his online banking is at risk. Okay. That's what I'm trying to explain him. Sure, sure. I know, so, I Richard, that you agree on the uh, same. if your computer uh, was uh, compromised... We would recommend that you don't log into your bank from from uh, that computer or do any financial uh, transactions for that matter. Okay, but he was saying that I should log on the com and do the wallet. Well, again, it would be my recommendation uh, that that you do not use your computer until you had it checked by a professional someone that you that you know and, and trust maybe a, a family member could recommend someone i do my grandson he, you know he might be able to do it oh uh yeah how old's your grandson he's 12 okay well i mean it may not be it's, it's none of my business but <laughs> i may just make sure that he has ample <laughs> Uh, the 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 skills required, you know, to to clean your computer. right. Um, 
I mean, so is there anything else my I can help you guys was. with I mean, today? his grandson well, okay, is just Well, okay, what about wiring the money to save the money? I mean, you can wire the money. Uh, it's just, from what I see, there's no logical reason to to be concerned about that right now. Uh, but, but, but you are within your rights to wire the money. Can I do that now? Um, uh, yes, that is something that you could do. James? Thoughts? I'm still with you, sir. Well, thoughts on that? Yeah, we can definitely go ahead and work on it, and let's see what happens. That's what you wanted to verify with no, Josh, I'm saying, I should we just do a quick wire transfer? Or, or didn't you say I had to open up a new account? I could help you open up well, a, a, a you new can, account um, You as can well. definitely open up a new account as well. Okay, and that would help? But, but would that help the situation? But first priority is to go ahead and make sure that the computer is working fine, because... Uh, once, even if you go ahead and open a new account, still you will be accessing your online banking using the same infected computer. But our first priority is to go ahead and get the root right, cause right. resolved. That's why, and that's why I would recommend uh, someone that you know and trust cleaning the computer um, exactly. first. Like maybe this gentleman, uh, James. I don't know this guy. Uh, okay, so you, uh, you don't know him? No. Uh, then why why would you allow him on the call right now? Oh, he's, I mean, he seems like a good guy. He's been he's been helping me out. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, Mr. Andrews, I would potentially recommend that you know you know you get to know <laughs> this man. James a little bit before before you uh, go go trusting his advice, right. but that's you know that's none of my none of my business. Just just some friendly friendly advice. Okay, mm -hmm. no, he's a good kid. He's a good kid. So can you help us wire uh, some money to a different account? I can uh, I can do that if that's what you would would like to do, Mister Andrews. James, you got an account we can rifle this money to really quick? Well, we can go ahead and definitely do that, sir. But uh, first, as I did tell okay. you, uh, yeah, I mean, I could, if you want, I could transfer you over to somebody in the like personal banking area, or I could help you. Well, uh, uh, Josh, you know, I, I could continue helping um, you if, 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 if all you need to do you. is like one wire transfer. Yeah, I mean, if it's all right with uh, I'm you, so, Josh, I'm so sorry to I'd, stop like to, you, uh, Josh, what I'd like but, to uh, do is send every last penny to uh, an account that James sets up that's safe. Huh. Okay. Uh, let me explain to you, Josh. And is that it's something that, that, how it works, that uh, James had su suggested? I am. I think so. I'm asking you to. No, 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 no. That's not true. But All right. Well, I'm yeah. I mean, if that's something that you guys need help with, uh, you know, it is within your rights to do it. Um, James, is, do you have an account in mind? Well, no. As of for now, no, because I don't want him to go and transfer any funds right now onto the unless the computer. But I want to save. Cleaned. I want to save all my money. Well, that will definitely be the done, sir. And the bank is also will be working with you if anything goes wrong here and there, right? The bank has their uh, own fraud prevention team. The bank has their own departments. Yeah, and I no mean, one can go in and take that money like from your Richard, account without your knowledge. If you like Richard, I can send you uh, right? an email with some great resources about common scams. Um, for example, mm -hmm. there there are some folks who. They will they will try to to scare you into buying gift cards or or they will say uh, right I maybe, mean those maybe are perhaps all that scams. your uh, identity has been stolen and and they'll try to kind of get you to go along with a particular uh, script or, or something like that um, but I could if you'd like I could give you some more information about that uh, okay. maybe even some some videos if you'd like. Uh. Sorry, I wasn't really listening. Okay. Okay. Well, is there anything else? Is there anything else I can do to to help you today, Mister? 
Mr. Andrews? Uh, I don't know. What do you What do you think, James? It sounds like they're not going to lock my account. Well, that, for, I, I believe. The, yeah, they're not going to lock that's the all account from for my ninety side. days. I mean, so that's good. Yeah, we're we're. I yeah, don't see any you, reason that we would be, need to lock be your account for ninety days here, unless you'd like me to, Mister Andrews. I mean, it is well within your rights to place your account on hold for ninety days. Uh, what do you think, Jamesy? Should we do it? There's also a well, thirty-day no, and a no, sixty-day uh, option if, if if that suits your fancy. I'm kind of feeling the sixty days. Well, if there is. Well, if there is no, uh, you know, fraudulent activities as of for now with the bank account, well, and I believe that no, it's not required. What do you What do you think, Josh? Well, uh, you know, it is in in, in my opinion that um, it would be a good idea to uh, temporarily not use your account and maybe uh, seek guidance from a trusted professional. And are you saying that you're not a trusted professional, Josh? No, 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 sorry, no, <laughs> no. It's it's just I'm I'm. Okay, well, shit. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, Richard. I, I I I don't know if you should be or shouldn't be speaking with James. I'm not exactly sure how you how you met this gentleman, and I'm okay. I'm concerned that. Uh, he might be trying to manipulate you into doing something that perhaps you, you might <laughs> not need to do. Again, I don't want – I'm not trying to overstep my boundaries here, right? I mean, you, you guys might be okay. good friends, but – Exactly. Um, you know, I, I if I was you, what well, I would I, do I totally, is I, I would, totally I, would I would put your uh, put your account on hold for a couple couple days. Uh, you know, hang up on these guys and, and, and talk to maybe some of your family members. You think my family has time for this? Um, well, I, <laughs> I'm not sure. You, you could always call. <laughs> you could always call us back if you'd like. I don't know. James has been pretty... He's been pretty helpful. Okay, uh, let me let me do one thing. Uh, let me just go uh, ahead and start taking care of his computer. James, what first. exactly? And if where we exactly did help, you say that you work? And we'll definitely get back to you. Microsoft. Well, uh, your calls was landed to Microsoft. So you you work for In Microsoft? Not correct. Yeah, yeah. I had a mess. My wife had a message on the computer about um, about a Trojan. Okay. So you were browsing the internet and there was a message that said you had a virus? Yeah. Is that correct? Um James? That's that's right. Yes. Yep. Okay, and then it had a phone number for Microsoft and you called it. That's correct. That is right. And let me guess, the next thing you did is you allowed them to connect to your computer and run some scam sort of, sorry, scans? No, no, no scams. No scams here. Uh, <laughs> I, I misspoke. Scans. Scans on your computer. I wasn't there. My, it was my wife. It was my wife. What, well, what was it that it, you, it was Mrs. Andrews. What was us. it that you did on the computer, James? Well, I've actually run the security scan on the computer, and that's already with them. What kind and of scan? That's on the computer. Well, the security scan on the computer, that's from McAfee, and that says that's been acquired. Hold on, I'm not good. And apart from that, the Windows Defender on the computer is Yo, no longer Susan, active. That's been stopped working. Where are you? <laughs> what was that? Sorry, I couldn't, under I couldn't understand what you were saying. Oh well, she's a he's actually talking to his wife. Uh, okay, so just between you and I, sir, um, you know I yeah, do have I mean, a um, I, I do have a I do have a flag of, on well, you know, I totally on the Andrews's account here about how they've been the target of uh, multiple scams over the past right. few months. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, I mean, where do you? Let's be real, man. Just for 
Just for a second. Like, why? Leave the guy alone. I mean, I'm right. right here to help him. Please? I'm sorry? Can you just leave him alone? Please? Okay. Okay, we're back. We're back. Okay, I'm here. Um, do you want to explain what happened? It, yes. I had a computer problem, and then they fixed it. Okay, and do you remember how they fixed it? They were at... They... They were doing something on the screen. Okay. James, uh, do you remember what it was that you did on the screen? He said it was some kind of a scan. Let him finish. Oh, he hung up, actually. I just didn't hear the click. I'm trying to get him to, like, shake in his boots a little bit. But... I actually just hung up. I, I w it seems like he didn't want to do the wire transfer over the phone. I was told I was a hundred percent gonna take the month, like take the bank account before, before like, I don't know, giving him pressure like that. But um, he didn't seem to want to go that angle. Uh. I'll call him. I'll call him back. Please hold while I try to connect you. Thank you for calling support. How may I help you? Yeah, I'm trying to get on the phone with the James uh, Black, please, or James Banner. Sorry. Okay. Just, just bear with me. Thanks. I really appreciate the patience. Your call has been transferred uh, to the fraud prevention team, and you're talking to James. Can you hear uh, me, sir? Hey, James. We got disconnected there. I don't know what happened. Oh, uh, is, is this uh, Richard? Yeah. Yeah, it's Richard. Oh, well. Hi, Richard. Okay. So, as you spoke uh, with the banker, uh, even he said that your account could be blocked for 60 days. Okay. If I wanted so, it as to I, be, as I yeah. said, that's right. As I said, and he also said that you can do the wire transfer. Okay. Right. So the safest option is to get the money transferred into your own account, into a new account. Okay. That I was creating for you. Okay. okay. And later on, you can and later on you can put a block for thirty days on your Bank of America. Okay. So you. Okay. Do you right. have an account? Uh, I am creating an account for you right away, sir. Give me a give me a quick moment, okay? Okay, yeah, I know he's. I know he said he'd send me some more information about scams and stuff, but I I don't know, man. He, I think he's just a young. That's right, kid. I He's a young kid, you know. Mm -hmm. Doesn't doesn't understand how the real no, world we, works. You know, people we, trust we also people. That, spoke, uh, you would know? That's right, sir. People trust people. Yeah, I mean, and uh, we spoke to Josh, gotta, who was from the fraud prevention team of Bank family, of America. Right? And uh, yes, sir, I do. I mean, you're not gonna, you're not gonna commit a bunch of crimes, are you? No, sir, not at all. All right, I trust you. Uh, I'm just doing my job here. That's all. Okay. All right, perfect. Uh, give me a quick moment, sir. Uh, let me just uh, help you out, create the account, and you have to help me as well to fill up your details yourself, okay? Uh, I'm I'm not going to make a 
Coinbase account, though. So, Well, sir, this is the account uh, that we will use, which will be under your name, and you can access it on your computer. Nope. You don't want to do that? Nope. Okay. In that case, uh, let me give you uh, the wire transfer details, okay? I'll simply okay. just give you the account details for you, okay? Give me one moment, sir. All right. It seems kind of it just seems kind of weird that we do it on the co compromised computer too, don't you think? Uh, Will, at this current situation, you're actually connected to our servers and to our network. So, yes, you are into safe hands till the time you are connected to our virtual network. So. Yes, the moment we are out, then those intruders would be connected back to you. And let me just go ahead and show that to you on your computer screen, that how many foreign access and foreign intruders are there with you right now. How many what? How many foreign connections are connected and associated with your identity? Well, uh, on your computer. That sounds pretty serious. And that's what I was trying to explain to you from the last hour. And uh, as we were talking to Josh, uh, well, he did recommend the same thing. But uh, yes, as of for now, there is no uh, any. You know, unusual activity on the uh, account, but you know. still, if we let it go, could be a possibility that it might happen again. It might happen in a few minutes. As you already know, that problems does not knock the door and walk in. The moment those hackers or except, those intruders get in your information, man. right, it might be too late, correct? Yeah. And the moment they go ahead and find any kind of suspicious activities, absolutely, they will be blocking the account, as just said, maximum for 60 days. Okay. No, Josh said that I don't have to lock my account unless I want to. Right. But so. if they found any kind of suspicious activity, which is, uh, you know, not authorized by you, they might go ahead and seize it or block it for no. 30 days for your own security and privacy. No, I asked him about that. He said we're good. Okay. So I want you to go ahead and have a real quick check on it. There you go. Can you see these foreign connections? The heck where are it these? says foreign addresses? And these are the foreign addresses which are connected and associated with your computer today. Uh, and the reason why it says time wait is just because you are connected to our secured source. You are connected to our secured network as we are connected to you. Until the time we're connected to you, you're pretty safe. And the moment I'm out of your computer, Mr. Richard or Mr. Andrews, they might intrude in again. Oh. So at this current situation, I... you're just like an open door to your house. Anybody walks in, walks out, nobody gets to know about it. So that's what we were talking about from the last two hours. My dog knows about it. And... That's for sure. <laughs> and that, that, but uh, this is a kind of a cyber... A crime, it's a kind of a cyber activity which is being taking place using your identities and with your <laughs> computer, sir. So let me just go in and quickly get your computer updated. All right, you think I should just, you think I ought to just gnaw the cable off the computer? Well, if I, no, well, the reason why, because you need like to understand that, just that you know, an IP not through the cyber, not through IP, the uh, Ethernet 
cable, make sure no hackers can get no. on there? No, because their job is to go ahead and provide you with the internet services. They bill you every month for it, and you pay them on time. Their job is to go True. ahead and provide you with the internet services and the speed, or let's say or with your home landline. If I okay. talk about an IP address, an IP address is basically known as the internet protocol number. Just the same way all the Americans have our own social security number, the same way every property is consistent of its own unique IP address, depending upon your location, depending upon your identity, your area, and your zip. None of that makes any sense. Okay. Have you ever heard about what exactly an IP address is, sir? How do we actually track our hacker or a person? Or how we actually locate a particular person who's actually sitting under which roof? That's what exactly an IP address is, which is used in order to go ahead and track and trace down a particular person who is located or sitting where, under which roof. I guess I don't know what you mean exactly. I don't know. I understand that, sir. But nothing to worry about. We'll just go ahead and get your network cleaned up as well, your computer, and we'll be taking care of it. Don't worry. Uh... But yes, this might take some time. Okay. I mean, how long are we talking, you think? Well, could be an hour, or could be half an hour. Half an hour? Gee. Uh, okay. I guess if that's what you got to do, man, I mean. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then you'll just call back later? or That's right. I'll just go ahead and take care of it. I'll just go ahead and quickly get you the details. I'll go ahead and clean up the computer. I'll also go ahead and clean up the network. And once I'm done, I'll definitely go ahead and give you a call back. But as of for now, I do want you all line with me. Okay. Oh, so I'm going to be placing do- a call on a right real... I can't I'm see updating the com- your computer. And... I'm updating your computer, and I'm going to be placing a call on a real quick hold so that okay. I can go ahead and see what exactly needs to be done, okay? And I'll be right back, Mr. Andrews. Don't okay. worry. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> I don't really know what I want to do with these guys. He's he's somehow managed. I mean, it's not he's not very good at it, and I don't think that an actual fraud person at the bank would have let him off that easy, or at least I hope not. But uh, he he's kind of slimy, you know? He can kind of weasel his way around things. But it's, yeah, he's they're very tunnel visioned on crypto. So I don't know how much longer I can really talk to him because I, I haven't I had a fake Kraken account, but then I they updated Kraken and it doesn't work anymore. Um, Yeah, he's just trying to sign up for an account right now. It's not going anywhere. Um, I like having them distracted with me, but I don't think it's really going to go anywhere. Um... I'd like to think that not too many folks are falling for it, but you never know. Uh. 
Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? My Hello? Is staying connected. Are you still with me? Yeah. Yeah, what's going on? Great, great. So, so I'm still working on the updates. And in the meanwhile, if you want to go ahead and grab a glass of water for yourself or a cup of coffee, sir, please take uh, your time. I don't really... I don't know if I need any more help with the updates. I kind of took care of it myself. I uh, think. Well, that's totally up to you, sir. Well, I'm sorry? I said I think I did anyway. Uh, well, I I am the one who's actually working on the updates. If you have a real quick check on the computer screen, it clearly states that it's working on the updates, right? Well, yeah, I had to so restart the computer because the... it keeps giving me... It keeps updating. Um, so... So you don't have to shut the computer down. You don't have to restart no, it. No, I just... I really did... I real quick did a wire transfer... Uh, to my wife's mm -hmm. account. Um, okay. So I think and did he use it from your cell phone, or did he did it I from any other? I think we're good. I think we're other... good. What the heck is this? Yeah, I I okay. went ahead and just sent. The, I moved the money from that account. That way, um, you know, the hackers and the money launderers couldn't get to it. You know what I mean? Would you would you mind repeating yourself? I, I could not hear you, sir. I said that I sent the money from Susan and I's account to one of Susan's private Chase accounts. That way, uh, okay. That way, that way, the hackers don't have access to it. Well, if they already have the access to your identities, your passwords, and your username, that simply means even if you go and transfer it to a Chase account, they will be having the Chase information as well. I mean, uh, does, that does not make sense to me, sir. I think we're good. It's uh, Susan's okay, son. Well, that it's case, Susan's son account. So. so, is there anything else I can help you with today, sir? Uh, I guess just a thank yous in order. Thank you for helping us save our account. I totally. Thank, thank you. you for your time and patience. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, who's this? Yeah, you're speaking with Michael. I'm one of the billing manager and the supervisor on the floor. How are you doing today, sir? Hey, All Mike, good? just a big thanks, a big shout out to you guys, you know, for coming in clutch. I completely understand. And, and I completely us understand from your the, concern, the sir. The problem here, you know, what I did is I sent the full, uh, basically four hundred some four hundred twenty thousand dollars to my to Susan's uh -huh. son. My stepson, mm -hmm. uh, you know, well, he'll safeguard it for us until we can get the hackers dealt with. Yeah, completely. I completely understand, sir. Now, listen to and me I one owe, thing. I'm I the billing manager on the floor. You. So, thank you for saving us. So, listen to me, please. See, listen to From me, please. Hackers. I just need to talk to you for a few minutes. I just oh. need to talk to you for a few minutes, sir. Okay. Okay. Something important. See, we have taken care of the securities and we have taken care of everything, right? But in order to remove the hackers from the network, right, there has to be a fixation required. Okay. okay? We helped you in getting your money safe, okay? So for the future security, uh -huh. 
like in future if you're getting any kind of troubles if there are any kind of hijackers getting in or you're getting yep. into any kind of trouble i need to get you some proper security he's gonna make a little bit right of money for wasting two and a half hours <laughs> i feel like he's gonna try to and sell me like a network security like you a 500 dollar lifetime what I'm talking plan about. <laughs> because uh, the people who were trying to get the I don't, yes, tell me. I don't fully understand. Maybe you... If you oh, I see Just what you're saying. Moment. I see what you're saying. Yes, I can write a really good Sir. review for you guys. Let's, you know, see, let I'll, me, I'll, let me, I'll write let a really me good review one, on the Better one Business Bureau and the Google. If you tell me that... I'll just go on Google and rate Microsoft okay. five out of Sir, five. I'm talking about the fixation now. To save, we saved, we saved your save money. all listen of my to me. money from now, the criminals. Okay, now listen to me. Now we are talking about the fixation, okay? Right now we have a problem with our IP address, right? And whenever we have I a mean, proper uh, problem asked, with the IP address, but... even if you throw... See, even if you throw this computer out, you buy a brand new computer, you will not be going to change your home every day, right? So what we need to do, we need to secure our home network, okay? So that we can secure all the devices. I don't think they have uh, some kind of medication for that now. I don't think you need to... What kind of medication? I think it's prescription, but I heard it's soon to be over the counter. Like, I think they got a, some kind of patch... Some kind of patch in the works that you just slap on there. So listen to me. We have to fix the computer. It's going to take near about 40 to 50 minutes more. Okay? No, thanks. And in this... what? I'm sorry? No, I, I'm good, man. You've already done enough. You saved me, man. You saved Sir, me from we, losing 420,000. I almost lost $420,000. Do you have any idea how much money that is? It's, I completely understand, I almost, sir. I almost lost all of that to some criminals. But instead, sir, we have to install the security. You saved me. We have, now listen to me. I'm not talking Thank about the God money. Now listen you. to me. What I'm... Because I was this close. Listen to me, sir. I was so close to wiring it all to some hackers or something, but instead... I completely instead, understand, sir. James, now we have to install the security. Help me save it. Sir, sir, this is Michael, and listen to me, please. What I'm trying to tell you. Oh, I know, Look at this I know. Screen. I'm saying we have that to your coworker, he helped me save it. You didn't really play a part in it at all, actually. Uh... I have to install the network security, okay, for Man, your home network thinking. and the security. Fixated on, I mean, you seem to be fixated on the network security. I'm fixated on the money being safe. It's crazy to me that $420,000 almost went missing, but instead, out of the kindness of your heart, I don't want four hundred. I don't want four hundred twenty thousand dollars inside of you, but you. Save but me. What the, if it wasn't for you, the, I I never would have been able to financially recover from this. It's such a bro move, man. It's such a bro move. Richard, God. listen to me, please. Thank Hello. God for you and your team, man. Okay, stop. Oh. Stop crying, sir. I completely understand now, Richard. I'm not listen crying. to me. These are tears Hello. of joy, man. So, tears of joy. Yeah. See, so I believe you have faith on uh, James. No, you have not faith even on a, not even Brandon. A little bit. Not even a little bit. And what is the reason of not having the faith on them? Uh, I just, I don't know. I don't think he and I are. I just get the, I get the distinct impression that he might be Baptist and I'm Presbyterian. No, he hasn't mapped you with anything, okay? What? Now I'm talking about the protections that we need to get so that you can be secured for another three years okay. or five years. You're going to get a proper legal documentation regarding everything. In future, if in case you're getting any kind of problem, I will help you with the dedicated toll-free number and the support email and everything, okay? Oh, wow. Where you can give us a call and take a help any point of time you have a trouble with, okay? Hey, what's the name of your company? You got me? Sir, the 
I work for Microsoft. I'm a Microsoft certified technician. But cool. whenever you call on the global helpline number, that routes you through the certified providers. So you're speaking. How do you spell that? Just for you know, just wondering. Yeah, I see you typing it. Cool, cool. All the drivers, no, security good, licenses, man. everything. I'm pretty good. I, uh, I think I'm just going to kill it with fire, you know? I'm just going to light the computer That's on funny. fire and get a new one. There, instead of getting a new one, suppose if you have a, you know, what is IP address? What problem you has? Let's come to the bottom line. So the problem is with like, IP nah, address. You know I, what I is IP really address? I like bottom lines. I'm more of a top sure, line uh, kind of guy. So. Okay, so let's go to the top line. Do okay, you know I'll anything you about you know IP address? I can tell that you guys really want a chance to prove yourselves. You really want to do even more work and clean my computer. I tell you what, if you can remove, if you can remove. A uh, couple of these bad boys down here. If you can get off, can so you can you remove the problem? The uh, problem is the problem files. is you are going into your scenarios. No, 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 the no, no, same no, no, thing no. happened with I'll your bank. You, with you, you didn't trust I'll make a deal with you, bro. If you can remove all these down here, this little pinata uh -huh. of of programs. Uh -huh. If you can get uh -huh. rid of those suckers. Let me let me I'll stop these butterflies first. They are disturbing me. The butterflies are gone. Oh, I mean, I like those. You like the butterflies? I'm gonna put that back now. Please try to understand what I'm talking and give Could me you, two minutes. Can okay? you put the butterflies back just to prove that you are? Capable? You want the butterflies back? Yes. Just two minutes. Give me a moment. Sure, no okay. problem, bud. The butterfly is back. I know, it can be pretty tough. It's kind of like a computer literacy test, like a competent, to see how competent you are. Yeah. Okay. This is level one. Okay. You got it. There we go. So you think I'm competent? No, not even a little bit. So can you go ahead and remove the uh, malicious files from the computer just to prove that you're you're capable? The cleanup doesn't mean that you're protected. I can clean it up. No, I know, but I want to see you clean it up, and then I'll then I'll definitely I'll write you a big check, man. I'll write you the biggest check you've ever seen. I'll write you check for checks for days, man. Sir, I really don't know anything about your past experiences, but please don't take those past experiences on me. I'm someone completely different talking to you for the same first time in my life. Right. Okay. So I don't know what people you might have dealt with in the past, but right now you're speaking to the real people. We are real people and that's why we were not scared of talking to your bank with us, with, with you. Didn't ask. You got me. How you got this Supremo desktop in here? Somebody's spying on you. You see this Supremo thing? Think it's the hackers that are on my computer? <clears throat> that's what yes. James said. Supremo is a soft. Supremo so is a software that can be used by hijackers. James doesn't do the Supremo thing. I know him from 10 years. He cannot do that. No, no, no. I'm not suggesting that James is the hacker. I'm just saying. <laughs> So you transferred your all the money into your wife's account or your uh... my wife's son, my stepson. It's 
I mean, almost all the money. I got about fourteen thousand left in there. I gotta, you know, wait till tomorrow to to wire that. Uh-huh. But four hundred twenty thousand. So still, you have got fourteen thousand. Yeah, I went ahead and wired four hundred and twenty thousand dollars over to him. You know. And I still, you have left with fourteen thousand dollars. He's a good kid. My, I, I texted him and said, "Hey, I need to safeguard some funds in your checking account. I'm about to send four hundred and twenty large." And he said, "Blaze it," and I said, "I'm blazing it right over there." I don't know what "blaze it" means, but so, I guess that's what the kids say these days. So you do still trust on him? Like he would not be going to run away, taking four hundred twenty thousand dollars. I mean, what's the worst he's gonna Although do? Although he's your stepson. He's my stepson. He's gonna get everything I own when I die, anyway. I mean. That's a great father giving everything to the stepson, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about you? Are you a good father? So you? Yes, of course. I How do many? have a kid, six years old. You got a six-year-old kid too. What's their name? Yes, he's a son. His name is Riddu. Oh, is he? Does he want to be just like his daddy when he grows up? He believes so, but yeah. I don't want him to be. Why not? I want him to be something which I were I was not, or like, I can be. Like what? Can you give a quick example? Like everything which I was not able to do in my childhood, I want him to do it. Like. Like what? I'm not sure about it. It oh. comes. Situation comes when the thing comes in front of you. What do you the want him to situation. be when he when he gets to be a you know a, a, when he grows up? What do you want him to be when he grows up? Like what kind of job? I want him to be a hero. Mm. Are you a hero? Of course, for my son, I am. So, do you tell your son that you work for Microsoft? He knows it. Interesting. So, you lie to your son? Not of course. You're speaking to a Microsoft technician, sir. So the thing is, you're still into a doubt. I don't doubt you right? at all. Sir, if I would be a scammer no, or something like that, no first of all, we... in my mind. See, listen, listen, listen to me. If I would be a scammer, it won't have taken too long for me to get your money wiped out. Bro, my Second record, thing, we my would have not suggest- 38 hours. We would have not, nothing, we, man. We would have not suggested you... He would have not suggested you to talk to your bank, right? That's not the first time. I am, see, it's not the first time. And please try to understand me. It's an IP issue. You know anything about IP? What is IP? No, what's an IP? Okay, let me come to the root cause that what is the real problem you was you are dealing with. Right now you have a problem with your IP address. You know anything about IP or if I say network, tell me. Do you have any understanding about it? Uh you know what? Why don't you just really quick give me a give me the IT one oh one. Okay. Let me explain you something. Whenever my IP address gets compromised, okay? <laughs> First of all, Excuse there me, is a God, risk my on your identity. So bad this week. That's a and brand new. That's a I brand new your... sentence. I'm oh, sorry. That's a brand new sentence. And whenever sentence. my IP, okay, please try to understand what I'm talking. Be serious and try to understand what I'm typing and trying to make you understand. Okay. Please. Whenever my IP you. gets compromised. 
<laughs> I'd take yes, pills there is for a risk that. On your Id- <clears throat> there is a risk on your identities, okay? Now, whenever I talk about your identities, it could be anything like your passwords, okay? That could be your email accounts. Uh-huh. That could be anything related to the work, like you do any kind of banking, you do any kind of shopping, or you even pay your bills online, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And most of the people think that identities is all about banking. But according to me, identities is all about your personal identities, like your passwords, your email accounts. That could be your social security number. That could be anything that you have, like your personal pictures. You have your personal documents or you have any kind of your personal things like a Facebook account or chat accounts or anything like that. So these are all your identities. Okay. Now, whenever you get any kind of infection, like a bad Trojan, get downloaded to the computer, it also has a tendency that it starts damaging your operating system in the background. You understand me? Which could possibly result in a data crash, system failure, your computer can come up like a blank or a blue screen or something like that. Now, the question is, what is IP address? Okay. So let me explain you. I'm talking about, I'm talking about IP address. Just a minute. For example, like we have a billing address to my home, which defines that on which place I live in, correct? In the same way, if I talk about your oh, IP address, drawing. IP address is a unique IP address is a unique identity which defines that on which location you are sitting and using the internet. You got me? So if I talk about your home, your house, all right? Okay. Then like longitudes and latitudes on the earth, you also have an IP address which defines that on which location you are sitting and using the internet. You got me? Like hey, if can I just ask you a really happens, quick question before we continue for my own understanding? James and the other guy, uh, uh-huh. they work for you, correct? You're the supervisor? Yes. Okay, so you are you are aware of and you support everything that they do, They're, correct? Sir, listen to me. No, they just, are my juniors and I was the, I was the one who was barging the call because it was a serious concern. And when I thought that you are trying to leave us without the complete solution, no, I, before, without even really knowing quick, that what has just, to be done at the bottom. Hold on, hold on. Just so you you were aware, you were listening to the call the whole time. You you sign off on. Yeah. You agree with their assessment that I that my identity was compromised and that there's hackers and mm-hmm. that the safest thing to do would have been to move my money to a, a crypto wallet. Correct. Yeah. Right? <laughs> So crypto wallet, they might have given you an option so that you can have an access to your own money. But it's your wish that you transferred your all money to your son. So they are not uh, like what they are not making any argument on that. That's your wish. The most possible thing they were trying to create your own wallet so that you have the control, you have the access of your money by your own. Uh Okay, so you Nobody just, I just need it. a quick but yes or no, has it, all right. Objection, your, your honor, has hearsay. It. I just, this is, it's a yes or no okay. question, Amber, or, or sorry, uh, whatever your name is. Do uh-huh. you or do you not My agree with, do you or do you not agree with their advice that I should have moved all of my money into the account? Yes or no? Can you please repeat that? Do you believe? Can you please repeat that? I is didn't... it your understanding uh-huh. that Susan uh-huh. Andrews, that her uh-huh. identity has been stolen? Okay. Yes or no? Yes. According to the situation when you came in, her identities were stolen. Like she was getting a okay. Windows Defender security alert. And that alert is regarding her identity is getting stolen. And, We're getting and, compromised. And as a Microsoft, you're a Microsoft certified question, correct? A certified right. technician, sorry. Uh-huh. Yes. And it's and you've been a yes, Microsoft sir. technician for how many years? It's been nine and a half years. You can say nine years, two months. Okay, and so. How many cases like this have you I, I, dealt I, with? In I the past? was in New Mexico before. Cool. So this is a modern world after the Corona time when people are doing everything online. When people are sitting home, they have to do their banking. That's all not this the stuff question. Online. That's and not the question. 
the I'm question. giving you the answer. You're not please, letting me speak till my answer. To the, why do you always why are you always talking to the to the jury? Just talking to me. Okay? Look at me while I talk to you. So, I was trying to give you your answer. My answer was pretty long. You want it sweet and short. Short and sweet. It is you've been working yeah. for nine years, two months. How many times have you dealt mm-hmm. with someone losing their identity? So these situations, like if I attend Five 10 times? calls in a day. 10 are, times? I attend times? 10 calls in a Sir, you don't, you won't let me speak. I re- Pardon, I'm really sorry if I bothered you for something, but you are cutting me off. You won't let me speak my complete sentence. Okay, well, it's just I'm doing the the questions. You're supposed to answer my questions. Please don't don't feel bad. I'm really sorry. I I am really sorry for shouting. Like, let me complete myself, sir. First. Okay. Okay. I'm telling you, if I take ten calls a day, I say three or four customers are coming nowadays, getting their IP compromised or having a trouble with their identities because after the Corona times between past three or four months, these things have been increased. And when uh, uh, after the war in Ukraine, the Chinese people and the other people <laughs> due to these war things, these things have been increased because people are taking bad use of the identities. Like these IP issues are uh-huh. also coming. People are creating pornographic websites using your so, location. Excuse me, just how many <laughs> cases have you dealt with in the past nine years, would you say? If you could estimate how many. I don't say nine years. I don't know. My memory is not so sharp. But in oh, the past so two it's... years, I have dealt around, I have dealt around, you say, 45 cases, 45 to 50. Okay, 45 like to that. 50 identity theft cases. And so Nowadays, we get two or three every day. There's no pending Out question. Okay. Now, so let, let's continue with what I was explaining. Yeah, I have a couple more questions right. just to make sure I understand what's going on. So no problem, sir. You are my the, customer. Over the past you have two the right years, to ask me the question. Uh, in these forty to fifty cases, how often did you recommend that someone uh, trans wire transfer their money to an account that you that you create? It depends, sir. It depends How many upon times the criticality of the, the problem. Sir, it depends upon the criticality of the question. But these situations came Five to me times? only about three or four times. Three or four times, I believe. Okay. And how many times did you did you suggest that they uh, transfer their funds to a cryptocurrency wallet? See, the cryptocurrency wallet is something nowadays in Five the US. Times? Everybody do the trading. Ten times? Again, you don't let. Again, you don't let me speak. Well, it's just a very. It's a very simple question, and you keep blabbering so away. At least How many allow times me. At least allow it? me to complete my sentence. Go I ahead. believe three or four I'll times. Allow it. I said I'll it. allow it. I'll allow it. I already told you. It depends upon the situation, and according to the situations, I believe that there are situations where I allowed three or four times to my people to do these things. If any, otherwise we said. How see, many your bank transfers? Is 700 and have my, gone my people, my correctly. people told you. Listen to me now. Listen to me now. My people told me that your bank is about 750 miles away, right? So they, in that situation, they might have told you if your bank is nearby to street out, they might have told you, take your money to the bank right away. Go to your bank. They might have Objection. told you, but you told them Objection. at the beginning that Hearsay. I live in a remote area Leading. and it's 700 miles. It was 350 and my people miles. At that situ- at, listen to me. At that situation, my people might have thought that you should not put your money into your kid's account or your grandkid's account, they Objection. might have suggested Relevance. you that your if, your ba- now, if, your, if your bank is 700 uh, miles away, then they might have taken a step which can be done immediately. Okay, so you're saying that if my bank Agreed. was if my bank was ten minutes away, they might yeah. have suggested that I do a wire. They transfer. might have told you to go to your bank immediately. Bro, don't cry. They might have it's told okay. you to go to your bank and withdraw your all the cash. 
your bank was too far so they have given you the immediate thing because when we call a bank they immediately block our account and it takes 2 3 days for you also to go to bank and get uh, all the money speculation lack of foundation your honor okay so now that we Here's have another thing is i see now that we i'm have talking that, i think I'm i understand what you're you. saying i'm now. talking to you from 20, i'm talking so you, to you i get I'm what you're saying you now. from all right so what do you suggest what do you suggest i do i guess Now do you believe that my Wait, money I suggest you Do you believe that my money is safe in my son's account If you believe so I don't think I don't trust my son I cannot give $420 40 20000 my son's account because he's just six he can buy chocolates for four to $420,000. That's a lot of damage. I don't know what my kids do. It, it can be possible. You are old people. You are old people. You hand over him $420,000. I don't know the character of your son. If your son is bad, yeah, well, he might I didn't run ask. away with his okay. girlfriend. You can cross-examine the character witness later. By the way, I implore the jury to disregard everything See, after the word no. Everyone is not the same, sir. Even brothers fight. even brothers fight even sometimes our wife takes all the money and run away with us someone else oh, that so it's not something you trust on someone you cannot uh, imagine that other person is trusting on me the same or not okay so, so it's now that i've sent and okay, safeguarded so all the 420000 dollars to my son what do you believe that i need so to do it's in, in your belief next? in your belief but my people try to put your money into your hands only yeah yeah sure and right. only the reason they might have suggested you for the crypto thing because closing the bank at the immediate time was not possible second your bank was 700 miles away so that was not possible for you to do uh, the thing immediately and they were 150 high. miles away 350 i and if you up and down the thing 350 going 350 coming at 700 that's quick math right so we have established that you can do basic math that's good now is so, it your opinion or let me ask you a different question sorry why do you encourage uh -huh. your employees to hide your customers screen under the guise that they are updating the computer there is nothing the they they might be updating your computer at that moment i was just barging the call i was not looking into their systems if there was a requirement of updating your computer it is they might have done it so they might have hidden my screen but you don't know sir in that case i have to go through the complete calls from the beginning and i have to check the remote sessions then i can say but our people don't hide anyone's screen that you're thinking of like somebody that have done it are before you with you are you that the, that your that your um, employees are using connect wise screen wise connect connect wise control something like that they might uh, be using it they might be they might or be they using are it. you're the boss right you're the manager it depends upon the computer situation sir well can you check my computer are they using it right now just a minute so somebody else has also used the connect wise with you in future in the past out of curiosity You mentioned your son liking chocolate. Did he watch Mr. Beast's Charlie in the Chocolate Factory uh, video? Mm -hmm. Just a minute. You don't want the connect wise? No, I'm asking. Did you did did your employees use it? Is what I'm asking. Yeah, he used it. Oh, okay, and. Why do you use that software as opposed to just uh this one the log me and rescue? Because your internet was closer. Okay. Is it In true case, that screen wise or your internet... connect wise control allows you to hide the screen and block control? Is that true? We never do that. But We can never it? do that. Is it possible that you're it's possible though? that they could have used it to hide the screen correct 
I have never heard about it and I have never done that with anyone. So uh, we are legit But people over all the calls and sessions are, listen to me, sir. Our all the calls and sessions are recorded for the, that they sir, could is have it possible that you would allow screen. me to speak for a minute? I want to be a lawyer so bad all when I grow up. All these calls are recorded for the co- All the calls are recorded for the quality and license purpose and we are not allowed to speak anyone anything uh-huh. on the call or do anything suspicious with your remote controls. Yeah 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 yeah. Okay? Yep. Any more questions? Oh yeah, I got plenty. I got plenty. So, uh you've known Brandon and what was the other James? for how long? Or how long have they been your employees, I guess? Couple years? Sir? Uh, does the prosecution need to rest? I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I guess I'm just trying to get to the bottom no, of this. No, sir. I'm still I, trying I wanna, to prosecute it, but I, I just want to understand. You're a big lawyer than me. I just want to understand if I can trust what's going on here. I used to be mm-hmm. a lawyer, so forgive me that I ask so many questions. Yeah, I. That's why I told. I got it. You are a lawyer. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was a uh, kind of a big deal. <laughs> So you've no you've worked so, with whoa, these guys for a couple of years. Uh, Out of curiosity, uh, have you ever noticed that either one of them have done something that's maybe I don't know illegal? I'm sorry. Has has either of your employees or any of your employees done anything uh-huh. illegal? As if now I haven't heard about it, but yes, there are people who might have done, but they are not in the company anymore. Oh, so are you prepared to fire Brandon and James? For what reason, sir? Uh, for lying. Uh, for conspiracy lying for to what? commit wire fraud. Or <laughs> other. <laughs> Okay, let me do terms. one thing. Let let me listen to the calls. If I find any fault on them, I will surely oh, work on. Oh come on! You know so exactly what's going on here, and you're just mad that they wasted so much time and didn't get any money. So you came in because you wanted to charge me a couple bucks for some fake security. Is it that right? No. Yeah. So what is If it that- I would have told you something now, if I would have told you something, I would have given you a proper invoice, legal documentation. If you would have called me you every have, day, I would have Brandon, talked to you. Not Brandon, right? Not James. They would have just stolen all of my money. They would have had me wire so they my would have money given me the share. somewhere else. Isn't that right? If they would have done that, they would have also given me my share for keeping quiet. Because you're a criminal. and a thief and a terrible example for what you want your son to be so i'm just trying to see i am i am just trying to rest. say what you want to listen am i wrong because you have made your mind am i see, wrong you have made your mind so you are not allowing anyone to understand yourself you're saying that i'm wrong you have made here. your mind yes you're wrong My identity See, hasn't been has stolen. Already made my mind. identity hasn't cannot... been stolen. My my wife doesn't exist. I literally, I literally am my wife. I, I, my wife and I don't even exist. You lied about the whole thing. And you, you and your wife you lied. doesn't even exist. No, I'm Josh, the bank manager. I'm you. You know you lied. Don't hide it. <laughs> Now we hung up. That's why I never. That's why I, uh, why I haven't been revealing as much these days because like they just what <laughs> like.
<laughs> oh shoot, I'm caught. <laughs> and they just hang up the phone. They sometimes back in the day they'd get mad, but now it's like, oh. Uh... Please hold while I try to connect you. I am you. my wife. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to the voicemail for Brandon Black. No one is available to take your call. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press the pound key for more options. Uh, hi, Brandon. It's Richard and uh, Susan Andrews and Josh from the bank calling. We're trying to find out a little bit more uh, about how you'd like to plea. Uh, if you could give me a call back at your earliest convenience, that'd be great. Thanks. I'm my wife, and also my wife is me and my son. Um. <clears throat> Objection. I am my own grandpa. That's crazy that they can, they have these like mental, the mental gymnastics. Someone said in chat. And I think that's, I think that's true. Uh, part of why I, I will admit part of why I switched to my voice is because, uh, if you've been here any length of time, I must, I'm a sucker for like mythology and the whole like hero archetype. And I, I've had conversations before with scammers where like, no doubt that that guy wants his son to live. But I think he could have been being somewhat truthful when he said that. Of course, of course he wants his, what, what, what do you want? What else do you want your kids? To, you, you, <laughs> of course you want your kids to be, a hero. You you want them to grow up and and do great things. What else would you want them to do? And and he knows that he's not setting a good example. And uh, I would have loved to talk to him about it, but um, I doubt I wasn't anticipating that he would. But you never know. So I I kind of went for it because there's been a few times where I've uh, talked to scammers. In a similar line of questioning, if you <laughs> if you will, um, uh, there was one guy in particular I remember. Some of the lore masters might remember. There was a guy. I think he said he wanted his son to be an astronaut or something. And we were talking for a while about how like his dad wanted to see the. He ultimately he ended up saying like I can't tell my dad about what I do because my whole life my father worked really hard. And he wanted me to be an astronaut or like he wanted me to be the best that I could be. And I know that I'm not doing it. And it was like, I felt like it was a really, it was a pretty big moment. Um, I hope, and I hope that that guy, you know, walked away from it and, and thought about it because I think that was the, like a very just true kind of like deep moment. It doesn't happen very often, but, um, uh, I think that part of who I am today was because some people asked me some hard questions and helped helped me work through life choices. So if every once in a while amidst the chaos, I can have one of those conversations. And he seemed like the kind of guy who might have done it because he was so he like really wanted to defend what was going on. He seemed open to like talking about it, but maybe maybe not. Please hold while I try to connect you. Oh, you got notes on the astronaut guy?
Yeah, I think. I think. Your call has been forwarded to the voicemail for Brandon Black. No one is available to take your call. Come on, guys. You're not going to answer any calls today? What's the problem? <laughs> I'm going to change my number. He disconnected from my computer, too. Um, yeah, I do think sometimes that they're the reason. Well, it's I think we could all say this. Uh, I mean, you can take it for what it's worth, but I think that any of us can and do potentially regularly lie to ourselves or play play mental gymnastics with ourselves to justify things that we do or don't do. Uh, it's probably a pretty common uh, phenomenon. And so uh, <laughs> I can imagine that, yeah, he's trying to justify it and seem like he's a great guy just trying to help himself trying to do right and and like he's he would have you heard him say like i would have given you all the right documentation and i, I would have given you a real virus scan like i would have really i would have really helped you out you know like i'm a good i'm a good person kind of a kind of a thing um i'm gonna try to call again Yo, what's up, Raiders? Please hold while I try to connect you. I assume you caught something today, because it's Vineo. We caught some scammers a little bit ago. I'm trying to call them back. I went fishing this weekend, and unfortunately, I only caught sunburn. So I probably need to take Austin up on the offer <laughs> to take me fishing sometime. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys are having a good. Uh, Your call has been good forwarded to the voicemail for Brandon Black. Oh, they're just not the answering. I've changed my call. number three or four times. These guys, they know. They've been caught. I don't really know if I can. I don't think I'll be able to get them back on the phone right now. I'll write their number down for another time. Maybe try to call them tomorrow or something. But right now they might just be like worried and they might be on high alert for a little bit. Or they're assuming that it's just me calling over and over, which is true. So, um, but yeah, he, he was, uh, we were doing a little court case there where I was <laughs> basically questioning a scammer about, like all the stuff that he had been doing to my computer for the past three hours and then eventually i revealed that i wasn't even an old man because they were just saying that my identity had been stolen and so i was like no i am my i'm my own wife and my own son <laughs> and then i switched to my real voice and they hung up <laughs> which may or may not have been a good uh, good choice but it was fun nonetheless